Welcome back. Uh, I'm Jacob. This is Western Tabletop. Today I've got Tyler with me from the Historical <laughs> Miniature Gamers podcast. Uh, and we're going to go through a little bit of a how-to and a summary of what Test of Honor is. Yes. So uh, Test of Honor is a miniatures war game that is set within feudal Japan. Mm. Um, it has quite a bit of a uh, time frame. So it goes from something like 1100s all the way to 1600. That so there's a, there's about three to four main uh, war periods within that within Japan that yeah. that covers. So, um, but the focus of the actual game system is around really small combat. Yeah. So, this isn't your um, uh, army line game where you're having you know hundreds of figures yeah. fighting each other. This is meant to be more of a cinematic game. Yeah. This isn't Shogun Total War. Yeah, no, nice. unfortunately, I mean, it's it's themed within that kind of period, and, yeah, and, and that absolutely. makes sense. But um, this is really made with the mindset of a lot of Japanese cinema. Yes. So it, it's it's about uh, the, the, the core focus of the game is on the characters that are within your force mm -hmm. and all the kind of heroic actions that they would be doing. So yes. um, think of all your favorite Kurosawa films. This is really what mm -hmm. it's trying to emulate, um, you know, a really ultra cool character yeah. that can do, you know, according to flips and maneuvers to, to, to sort of get around the battlefield and that kind of stuff. Absolutely. So um, today we're going to be playing um, Tess of Honor and we have this beautiful winter board. We do so, indeed. Um, Made by Jacob. And the, and the figures and stuff as well. So um, All painted by Jacob. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be a little bit of a test of our honor between each other. Um, uh, we have an event coming up that Tyler and I are both hosting, mm -hmm. which is the Siege of Osako that we're doing within March. Absolutely. And yeah, that's focused exciting. as a beginner's event for learning Test of Honor. Mm -hmm. um, so in that, we've made winter terrain, several armies, ready yep. for new players who haven't tried the game before. Yep. Um, what's unique about this particular setting is this seems to be about the only time within history that there is a winter battle within feudal Japan over hundreds and hundreds of years. Really? Traditionally, they just didn't fight each other um, during the winter. But um, this is kind of the climactic finale to uh, the Warring States period, which yeah. is a Sengoku Jirai. This is a 200 year period of samurai clans fighting each other for mm. dominance. Yeah. So uh, basically you have a, a military dictator, the Shogun, mm -hmm. who is in effect control of the actual country rather than the emperor themselves. Oh, right. um, so that sometimes is a member of a royal family most of the time it is just a, a warlord who just wants power for the country. Um, the Emperor still has uh, some kind of leadership, but it, it, it's more of a token gesture. Yeah. It's, it's the, warlord, the warlord that has control of the yeah. country. So, um, the whole Siege of Osaka uh, is about the last um, sort of dynasty that is, uh, has some kind of rightful control over the country. Right. Uh, which is the Todoyami clan, mm -hmm. uh, and then the opposing is the Tokugawa shogunate. Right. And that's the combination of pretty much every other samurai clan within the region that are all combating to fight uh, the uh, current shogun. Right. Um, so we're going to be doing an event that's all focused around the finale of the Warring States period, and then after this, we get into uh, the Edo period in Japan, mm. and that's more around the masterless ronin. This is where right. the samurai yeah. convert from being these forever battle sieging, uh, think medieval knights, mm. uh, in, into this point where they no longer have a purpose in society. Okay. Um, and, and they become basically thugs for hire, even though that they're these great masters that you would uh, compared to Jedi from Star Wars. Yeah, right, okay. Um, so that's the sort of theme to the event that we're putting on. That's where the terrain and the winter comes in. Um, I like it. But enough about the event. <laughs> we're going to talk about how to play this game. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And uh, so you are our resident expert on the game. Yeah, um, I've played it once or twice. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah uh, forgive us if we get anything wrong in this video. Yeah. Um, 
I have played this more than once or twice. Yes. However, uh, this is going to be the first time we're playing Test of Honor in 2021. Mm. Um, we will get most of it uh, yeah. as we can, but you know, there might be slight adjustments we have to add into the comments. Yes, but please let us know if we do get something wrong. Um, mm. If you're a Test of Honor expert, or yeah. better yet, if you're the developer of the game, let us know. Um, so we can really make sure we do this justice, especially since uh, Jacob will be TOing uh, yes. the event yep. that we have in March. So the more he knows and the more we know, the better it is for um, everyone. Yeah. But let's jump straight in to what yeah. the game is. So how, what, what comprises an army in this game? Yeah. Before okay. We get into how to play. Um, so I might just go over the basics of what you need. So okay. um, very first thing is the rule book itself. Of course, it is absolutely tiny. It is seventy two pages. It's well priced. Yep. Um, it's very easy to flick through if you need any sort of guidance within the game itself because it's just not absolutely compact. Uh, not compact the other way around, but um, yes. too full. The, yeah. the, 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 there's there's not much fluff in here. I can't remember the word we're looking for. Who but cares? Yep. Anyway, <laughs> you guys know what we mean. Um, in short, the rules are very simple to, to, to digest. Mm -hmm. um, you have other game aids that we'll go into detail uh, in a bit later, but mm -hmm. basically there's unit cards, there's honor and dishonor cards, so yes. you can act honorably or dishonorably yeah. on the battlefield. Which will come into uh, play a lot more in the campaign, I imagine. Yes, definitely. They actually carry over, don't they? Yeah, so traditionally when you do play this game, you play it in a cam campaign scenario and that your troops and followers and that kind of thing uh, will gain experience, which will be the honor and the dishonor cards. Okay. They might get quests as well yeah, oh. um, that carry over into the next match mm. and the next match. So we've got the rule book, we've got our playing cards, we've yep. got our honor and dishonor cards. What yep. else do we need? Um, the other main thing is the actual uh, honor dice. We'll get into that in a little bit, but um, basically for every action that you're doing, you'll need to make a test of honor, and that might be a test of strength, it might be a test of agility. Mm. We'll get into all of that later but you'll need to roll a certain amount of successful dice to actually complete that. So you'll need the Test of Honor dice as well. Yep. There's other game aids. Um, those familiar with bolt action, there are chits that represent uh, the actions that your figures can take. Mm -hmm. You'll kind of draw those out of a, effectively a dice bag. Onto the miniatures. Um, so here we've got a uh, few Ashigaru, a couple of... Um, characters, some cavalry. Within the Ashigaru itself, you've got spearmen, you've got arrows, you've got um, muskets, mm -hmm. um, and a whole variety of characters. When it comes to comprising a force, you need at least one leader. You might take up to two more um, companions, and those, those are, uh, you know, characters. They're, 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 they're stronger than your normal troops. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of your list will be followers. Right. And followers would be the Ashigaru, mm -hmm. it might be local peasants, it might be ninjas, it oh. might be uh, bandits. There's a whole variety of different things that you can take. Okay. But pretty much anything themed to the period is in. Love it. Um, and yeah, for, for, for force, you're probably looking at about, at a maximum, maybe 15 figures. You can okay. get away with, with, with you know, nine. Uh, there's even a seven samurai list, which allows you to take seven characters, which is unique. Um, That's and and that, really that cool. is trying to implement what was in within the mm. movie, which is really good. Yeah. I, I, I only just saw it probably oh, really? a couple months ago. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but when it comes to sourcing figures, mm. um, I went cheap. <laughs> so uh, I went with the Warlord plastic kits. Mm. Um, and that was, I wanted to be able to demo this effectively to a club with lots of players mm. um, for the lowest price point. Yeah. So they have plastic kits. Mm -hmm. um, so I bought, you know, a spearman kit, an archery kit, a cavalry kit, and a samurai kit. Okay. And that gave me five warbands for all wow. of that. Wow. Um, there are... Uh, how, how much did that cost you, just out of curiosity? Roughly about just under two hundred dollars Australian. So you got five armies for two hundred bucks. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. All right. yeah. Okay. It's it's pretty good, um, <laughs> but yeah, you don't have to go crazy like me. Uh, the main uh, sort of official manufacturer these days is Footsole Miniatures, mm -hmm. um, and those are, are, are metal minis, usually a blister of one or two. 
Um, there's a few uh, sort of armies in a box kind of thing. They're about 50 to 60 a strand, okay. which is probably half the price in America, right. etc. So, so it's, a, it's a pretty cheap system to get into then. It's very cheap. Um, and what we desperately need is an Australian distributor for uh, yeah, Tess of Honor, because right. um, find, finding this stuff is, is, is a little bit tricky. Um, Players in America, UK, they've got great shipping and all that, so mm. they can get the stuff fairly fairly inexpensively. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, there's one other thing to be to talk about is this video is about version two. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff from version one out there on YouTube. Mm -hmm. A lot of how to plays, maybe some better than this, but that's fine. Um, there's ba basically nothing on version two. How long has version two been out for? Oh, it within two years would be reasonable time frame. Okay. So um, the author, Graham, uh, he used to work for Warlord Games mm -hmm. and he's gone independent for version two. Nice. So um, version one was even smaller than this. It's something like 10 pages. Oh, wow. Um, and, and the sort of discussions I've seen on um, Graham's interviews were, uh, he worked for Warlord, they said, we have a plastic Samurai Miniatures um, line already. We need a game for it to help right. sell the product. Yeah. Um, so he, it's got a lot of bolt action DNA in it. Yeah, well, the um, chits and everything. You got you got stuff. chits. The actions are very similar. Mm. Um, so there, there's a lot of the great things from bolt action that that start out, and then and then Graham's really developed onto this for the for the version two that he's gone independent right. with. Okay. Um, and this, what we'll be playing is the base game. There is also a recently released expansion, Sangoku Jidai, which mm. is. Um, all about the actual clans in the things that we're talking about, yeah. the Siege of Osaka. Yeah. And they have... Um, Will you be getting sort of, the Sengoku Jidai? It's, or, it's on order, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, uh, what was I going to try and say? Uh, there are clan rules for each individual. So, so mm -hmm. the, I don't know, there's at least 10 clans, something yeah. like that. Um, and they've all got similar traits as they would in Total War Shogun. Hmm. So it feels like they're kind of adding that... Um, build your own army or build yeah. your own regiment kind of thing that they yeah. have for uh, Warhammer kind of stuff. Like yeah, so, so like like that. the detachment rules you might have in 40k. Okay. You've, you've, you've got those things. So, That's you cool. know, you will have similar flavor of um, armies that are uh, like Shogun where you have ones that are better at cavalry, yeah. ones that are better at archery and yeah. that kind of stuff. Okay. And you kind of want to push that to, to your list. I like it. Um, so that's out there. Mm -hmm. um, we've got it on order. Just waiting for it to get here, but uh, more so, I want to get people into this game, and I don't want to overcomplicate it. Yes. So uh, we're going to go with the base rule book today. Mm -hmm. We'll go into depth about all of the game aids here, and yep. then we're going to have a game together. Awesome. Okay. So uh, we're going to get into the game aids for Tests of Honor. Um, so this is the rule book that we had a look at uh, just before. So this has all of the scenarios that you'd be playing the game with. It explains what the weapons are and how to build your force. Um, this uh, front page here, the game elements, is what we're going to be talking about right now. So the first thing that we're going to have a look at is the actual um, unit cards. So if we have a look here, we have a devoted samurai. Uh, and this is a, uh, this could be your hero or it could be one of your um, companions. This isn't one of your regular uh, infantry figures and that's denoted by this icon here at the top left. So um, at the bottom here we have various icons and numbers below. So uh, the little arrow representation that means aim, this uh, squiggly line that's a void, uh, this red icon here that is strength, the one of the uh, brain icon is wits, uh, the samurai uh, clan icon is honor, and the last one here is how many actions the figure can do within a turn. So what do the numbers mean under each one? So uh, each of these have a number and different cards have different numbers and that's really decided on the points value above here. So uh, cheaper infantry such as this Ashigaru Spearman, they have worse stats but they cost less to actually employ of within course. your force. Now, the number themselves is how many dice that you will roll to actually do these actions. So we'll show you an example of what these actions look like, but in, in the very quickly, four means that he will roll four honor dice to complete that action. 
and if he gets a successful um, pass on that, which is three swords or more, then you move on to the next action, because you might be doing a test to see if you actually hit them, and then how hard you hit them, do you wound them, etc. Yeah. So like it's a, a to hit and then a to wound roll in, yes. for example, uh, a Warhammer. Yeah. Or a hit then wound roll in Bolt Action. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so what's very important, uh, we'll, we'll get into all of the various tests a little bit later, but this last one uh, denotes how many actions it can do within a turn. So uh, all your basic followers, which is this icon here represented on the card, they can only commit to one action per turn. Typically a hero can do two or three. Uh, I saw another icon in here. Yep. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to see it at home, but it's actually like a red version of that. Yeah, so the red mean? one is the actual hero. Okay. So then you have companions which yeah. are lesser heroes. Okay, but you can um, take a companion as a hero if you want to say a low cost hero. Yes, yes, okay. that's right. Yeah. So um, really, and, and you will find cards that, that, that have similar stats, and, and typically that will mean that they can do one more action than a regular companion. Okay. Right? Um, so, we have a look at this guy, mm -hmm. we have this uh, fan symbol here that denotes that he can do two actions within a turn. Mm -hmm. um, how this game works is very similar to bolt action. You'll have chips for all the various figures in your force. So, um, just below here, I've got a little printed out Excel sheet of two various armies. So we have the yellow clan, which is over here, and we have the red clan that is over there. Um, and this is just a very shorthand version of keeping all the various cards that you would need for this and force. This didn't come, you actually made these yourself, didn't you? Yes. yes. So um, I will put it in the uh, sort of description at the bottom. There's an Excel spreadsheet. It's like an army builder, something like a battle scribe kind of thing, but it's designed for Test of Honor. Mm. So this is just an export of what a typical force would be, which is 24 points. Mm -hmm. So this has an armored samurai, a battle sworn samurai, a devoted samurai, and some groups of Ashigaru, mm -hmm. which are all of these yellow ones here. Now, um, when we went back to the sort of activation token, so this means I need to put two tokens aside, these red ones for the samurai, um, to activate him. And when it comes to regular infantry, like these spearmen here, they have one activation, but if you have a look at the symbol here, this white one, that denotes that this is the symbol to actually activate them. So what happens is, I figure out all the tokens that I need for my force, I put them in a bag that we'd be randomly drawing through, yep. and then uh, we play out a turn where we would draw a token. If it's a white one, that means a regular infantryman is moving. Mm -hmm. If it's a red one, that means we can activate one of yep. our champions, heroes, samurai typically that are going to be on the battlefield. So in bolt action, um, you have your own colored dice, yes. but my chits are the same color as your chits. So. Yes. So um, this is where it gets interesting because uh, we take turns on activating an individual figure from the pack, from the back. So it'll be my first draw, then your draw, back and forth, and we're sharing the same tokens. So your tokens are in the back, my tokens are in the back, mm -hmm. which means that if you've gone for a heavy infantry force and I've gone for a light infantry force, I'm still going to be activating infantry that I don't actually have. Yes. So the, it, it kind of balances out which way that you're um, sort of focusing your force. If you go heavy on heroes and light on infantry, mm -hmm. and your opponent does the opposite, you'll just have just as much chance of activating your figures as you would otherwise. Okay. So that's kind of the thought process between um, the different chip types and okay. the activations. Um, so we've gone over what the, um, the token process of drawing. Yes. Um, and that how the different tokens would denote um, which mm -hmm. figure might be moving and what actions they can commit to. Yep. Why don't we go over what the actions actually are? Of course. Um, so, in the very front of the book, and if you've ever played bolt action, you'll kind of see the similar DNA um, for the actual actions themselves. So, there's six here. We have a movement of six inches. Mm -hmm. We have a move and shoot, just like an advance in bolt action, three inches in a shoot. Yep. You have a charge, which is six inches. Mm -hmm. You have an avoid. Um, so, strangely enough, when you are being attacked, you have to commit to spending your activation token to actually defend yourself. Yes. 
and so there, you have to defend yourself. You can't say, oh, no, I'm not going yes. to defend myself. Yes, so there is a little bit of strategy around committing your forces to attack other forces so that they can't activate for that turn. So it's like getting the opposite side to pull a down order in yes. bolt action, but it's enforced. So yes. if I charge into you, I have to. you have to defend against me. That's so right. It's like a forced down order. Now, uh, and then when we get into, we'll get into this in the game later, but uh, if you have a figure that's already activated, it cannot commit to an avoid action unless it's a hero that has a few action tokens that are, that are left over. Yes. Um, so there's some thought process into attacking units that don't have the ability to defend themselves mm -hmm. um, because then you can more likely confirm the kill. Yeah. Um, We'll get into that a little bit later. There's a there's yep. a there's a little bit of complexity when it comes to attacking mm -hmm. other heroes because there's an honor and a dishonor cards. Yes, and we'll is. get into that in a little bit. You have a cautious move which allows you to move three inches but gives you an avoid action for free. Okay. Um, and then you have a get to feet and move three three inches. So there are points in the game where you can knock the uh, enemy figures down, and yeah. that just means that they have to spend an activation to get back up. Right. Um, and then there's reloading, and that's really uh, focused just to muskets. Yeah. Bows and arrows are uh, automatically mm -hmm. reloaded after after attacking. Mm -hmm. Muskets yeah. must spend a turn to actually reload the actual right. firearms. So they're my actions I can use when I pull a chit. Yep. What happens once I get into combat? Okay. So um, we might go to the table and show what combat looks like. So uh, we've got two figures here. We've got a yellow samurai and a red samurai both from uh, opposing forces. Um, so we've got the two cards out just so we can explain how the uh, attacks, dodging, charging, all that kind of works. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna pretend that the yellow figure here has the initiative, is has just drawn a token, yep. and is now committing to an attack. Yes. So the very first thing is he wants to charge this figure. He's, the charge range is 6, so this figure is less than 6, which is plenty for it to actually move into combat. So you just pick up the figure and just place it base to base with the other, as best as you can. Okay? So we've done the charge action, which involves two steps. One is moving up to 6 inches. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to the actual charge itself, it has to be within a straight line. Right. And not only that, you have to charge the closest enemy model rather than what you'd prefer to hit. Is there a... There is a little bit of a, a caveat to that. You can decide to attack other figures by committing to a test of wits. So, how about we roll this back just a little bit and we'll have this figure in the way. So this... Uh, sort of banner bearer here is physically closer than the samurai mm -hmm. but I'm interested in attacking the samurai yes within that charge action I've committed to the charge I would have to roll a test of wits mm -hmm. so if we have a look at the little icon here we've got this brain symbol test of wits number four mm -hmm. it means that I have to roll four dice yep if I get three swords or more, then the part, then the test is complete, and, and I can choose to attack which and figure. Three I like. swords is the like. There's nothing that changes that. If something gets three swords, it succeeds. Yes, unless you have more X's than swords, but that's not really going to happen with three dice. So we'll have a look. Unfortunately, <laughs> in this example, we get one sword and one X. This means that the pet, the test doesn't pass. So in this instance, we would actually be attacking the closest enemy model. Now, I'm not interested in that. I think a samurai versus samurai battle is going to be cooler. Mm -hmm. But that's how it would work in instances where you have multiple figures on the field. You actually need to commit to the closest enemy model. Right. You do your tests of wit. If you pass that, then you'd actually get to choose who you'd want. Okay. That's the same when it comes to shooting attacks as mm -hmm. well. So, um, your archers will typically go for the nearest model. Yep. Um, but you can opt to go for the better tactical decision if they pass the test. Right. If they fail it, they just attack the closest guy and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, so, we're going to pretend he never existed. Awesome. Um, and now we're going to go on to, will this samurai actually pass hitting this samurai here? So, we have the yellow samurai. 
his uh, test to aim is also four dice. Right. And it's the same same sort of test that we just did for the wits. Mm-hmm. So he needs three swords or more to pass the ability to hit the enemy. Okay. So we'll start with four. And he failed. <laughs> Which is great on camera when trying to explain how a successful pass That's will go. Right. But, but it, th- it is interesting here to know, because he's failed that, I don't have to spend a reaction. Yes. So um, what, what would typically happen here, if I actually turn this to a double sword here and get a three, I would have successfully hit the enemy. Mm-hmm. Now the enemy needs to react. So in this instance... We grab another token from the back, yep. even though that it, we, we're not randomly drawing that. That's mm-hmm. part of the reaction where you're forced to take an action to avoid the attack. Yep. So I've hit, and now the red samurai here needs to avoid. Now he's a bit stronger. He gets five dice. Mm-hmm. And then he has to get three swords to pass avoiding the attack. Right, but he uses five dice instead of four. And that's... Um, relevant with um, how many points is given to of each course, figure. Okay, course. so we're going to pretend that he actually got the hit through, mm-hmm. and then he's going to try and avoid it. Okay, now that's actually Ooh. absolutely <laughs> terrible. We wouldn't expect more dice to actually have <laughs> less swords. So in this instance, we've hit the enemy; mm-hmm. they've been unable to avoid it. Mm-hmm. So straight away, what's great is this red samurai. From the yellow player's perspective, he's forced an activation from the red samurai. Yep. And it didn't work out for him. Mm-hmm. So already he's on he's on level par with spending the activation initially. Yes. Now he gets to see if he can um, actually damage the samurai. So we have this red one which denotes strength. Yep. So we've gone through the hit. The avoid didn't work out. And now we're seeing if we're doing any damage. Mm-hmm. So now we roll four strength dice and we need again three swords to pass and that will actually wound the samurai so we get two swords here one x and a blank so it's not enough to wound the samurai okay but whenever you do a test of strength if you fail you inflict a blood drop onto the opposing figure and we're pushed back a little inch which just gets us out of combat so what this does is it's going to make it easier for me to attack him later. If we were to pretend that we're going for a second attack, the next time that I'm committing to a text of strength, I'm adding an additional die because he has a blood drop. Right. If he has two blood drops, then you added an additional two dice or three, etc. But you should be <laughs> wounding and dying before then. Yeah. Um, the other thing, let's pretend the blood didn't happen. And let's pretend that I rolled that many, Mm. four. With heroes, they don't get, and this is the same for companions as well, if you get a successful wound on normal infantry, it just kills them. With heroes or figures that have more than one activation, they have to draw from the injury deck. So this has various... Uh, sort of negative effects to the abilities of the figures. So you draw one of these at random. And that might mean that this figure now suffers minus one aim, it might be minus one strength or something Mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. Um, So whenever you are attacking and have successfully wounded an enemy companion, hero, etc. On the first time they're wounded. On the first time they're wounded. On the second time they're just killed. Mm Mm-hmm because they just can't handle it anymore. Yes. So that's the basics when it comes to uh, sort of the honor dice, the various tests that you have. Um, the wits we talked about is really about um, sort of committing to actions that aren't guaranteed. Yeah. When it comes to honor, that's really kind of a morale process. Mm-hmm. So um, in, in other situations... We might have instances where a samurai is attacking some infantry. Let's pretend that he successfully uh, killed this group. All figures within the enemy army, within Mm -hmm. six, would need to take a test of honour to see if they want to 
commit to fighting on. Yeah, so it's basically a morale test. It's a morale test, and that's forced on all figures when a uh, casualty happens right. on that side. And all the various figures have you know, a higher or lower honor value based on what options that you chose within the force. And that's really how the honor plays out and all of the various activations on the card. Um, there are some other things at play, um, and this relates back to when we're looking at companion slash heroes fighting companion slash heroes. Mm -hmm. So we had an instance where we had a success, we, we had an avoid opportunity. There are other times where you might be attacking an enemy hero or companion mm -hmm. when they're tapped out of activations left. So let's say he's moved up, tried to attack this samurai uh, twice, for example. He's used yep. up all his actions, and this samurai still has one action left. Yep. So in this instance, what we've set up is this guy has no opportunity to avoid because he's tapped out with all of his activations. We've got one left where this guy is attacking this one. You have to decide if you're going to act honorably or dishonorably because in the combat. He doesn't get an avoid now, does he? No. Um, and you can only act honorably or dishonorably against opposing companions or heroes. Um, these, the, the sort of peasants on yeah. the field, they're, 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 Followers. they're, they're, they're all fodder. Yeah. No, the, nobody uh, knows their name. Yeah. Nobody cares about them. Uh, it only comes down to the actual heroes that, that we uh, uh, can act honorably or dishonorably about within this game. Um, and what, what it is, is it's a, it's a penalty reward system. Yeah. So if I wanted to attack a figure that has no avoid left, mm -hmm. I have to decide, am I going to announce myself and say, hey, stand to fight and act honorably, or am I just going to stab him in the back? Mm. And how this plays out is we have our regular to hit rolls. Yes. If we act honorably, we remove one of the dice. Yes. If we act dishonorably, we add an extra dice. So you've got more of a chance to attack the enemy and get a successful wound if you act dishonorably. And uh, uh, if you decide to work honorably, you might get a positive bonus for your army. Mm -hmm. So, you do the normal rolls, you see what happens, but depending on what you commit to, you draw either an honor or a dishonor card. Yes. Typically, acting honorably does one or two things. There's usually a positive bonus for your army, mm -hmm. and it might relate to we've got increased morale or something like this. The other thing that uh, tends to happen quite often is that um, nobody actually noticed that you acted honorably and it was kind of a waste. Yeah. Um, on the other side, dishonor usually relates to um, a negative morale bonus. Mm -hmm. So um, if you know all these followers see their, their their kind of leader acting dishonorably, they might lose the um, sort of uh, momentum to continue the assault because um, you know honor is, is is a huge part of the Japanese culture, especially within this time period. Mm. Um, so. You know, people will lose faith in, in, in following their yeah. leaders if they do so. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, th this is a tactical decision that you make on the battlefield. Sometimes it's more important to get that kill in. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes you'll pay the price for doing that mm -hmm. by uh, getting a negative result with these, uh, these decks. Yep. So that's the various cards and the game aids and combat. There's only one thing that we've missed, and that is the fake deck. So, when we are drawing random activations, say it's a, uh, a leader or an infantry token, there's actually three filler tokens that are filled within the bag as well. And these are called fate tokens. So if you were to draw one of these on, on your turn to draw something from the, from the actual mm -hmm. uh, order deck, uh, then you'll need to also pick up a fate card. Mm -hmm. And these, again, are... are, are Quite similar to the honor and dishonor cards, they're not as uh, you know. Uh, there's 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 not many penalties that you would have in dishonor, but you know, sometimes nothing happens. Sometimes a bonus happens where you get you know, you found a, a, a better weapon, mm. uh, and you might have better chances of attacking. Maybe yeah. it's an honor thing. Maybe it's a wits thing. Maybe it's an extra activation. 
all kinds of strange things can happen within the fates. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there were, there's opportunities where you need to spend some of these cards immediately. There's others that you can save for later on, and there's even opportunities to save them for the campaign if you're playing in a campaign okay. and using it in the, in the, in the next mission. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to the fate tokens themselves, they're also the uh, decider of when the turn is over. Typically, so the first and second fate token as they're drawn, you get the fate cards. The third one that's drawn, it ends the turn, and that doesn't matter if things have or haven't activated on the field yet. That's just an end of turn and then a reset. Uh, typically, uh, you'll find that most turns end on the third fate token drawn, rather than all figures activating. Mm. So you don't always get the opportunity to do everything that you want um, to do within a turn. So sometimes it makes sense to actually commit to the important things that need to get done rather than maybe better positioning or, or anticipating that you'd be able to activate everything because yes. that doesn't happen yeah. all the time. Once you see those two fake tokens come out, it's probably time to start yes. uh, getting the last bits done so you, you're ready. Um, and then other than that, the only other tokens that are in the game, these are basically mission-based tokens, so they, they might denote some treasure or, or um, you know an escort or, or, or something like this. And then these are the markers that are for reloading when it comes to muskets. So um, just the red markers here just mean that they're out of ammo and then you can reset that by flipping it the other way around when you spend an action to do so. Mm -hmm. um, and that's everything that you need to play the game. Pretty much um, what uh, Grey For Now Games has, they've got a little starter set, contains the rule book, contains all of the game aids, all the cards, all the dice and all that kind of stuff and that's fairly cheap to get a hold of. Mm -hmm. um, and then other than that you just need some minis. Yeah. Um, uh, just quickly, um, I know because we've talked about it because having enough dice for the tournament was a bit of a uh, pain. You've come up with ways around that and I'm yes. sure people will see that. But uh, just for those playing at home, if you you know had everything else and maybe you don't have enough dice, um, what Exactly. Do you know what this yeah, correlates to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll do some conversions for you for D6. Mm -hmm. So um, the X is a 1. Mm -hmm. The two blanks here are a 2 and a 3. Mm -hmm. um, the successful hits here, which are just 1 sword, so 4s yep. and 5s. And the double sword is a 6. Yeah. So I'll actually put a little diagram of how that works because that's going to actually be really good for our Siege of Osaka tournament. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really just about sourcing these and getting good shipping yeah. for Australia. I mean, there is something very cinematic about getting these dice anyway and seeing yes. like two swords come up and like yes. three swords and stuff. It, it feels a lot more cinematic than rolling a dice and being like, oh, look, I got, I got two threes or whatever it is. So... Um, I recommend anyone uh, at home definitely try and get hold of these dice because yep. they're so cool. But in a bind, D6 will work. Absolutely. Um, now, uh, there's two more things that when it comes to the dice that might be better explained shown. Um, so, we know that three swords will pass. Mm -hmm. However, you might have an opportunity where you're rolling six dice and you get three X's mm -hmm. and three swords. They cancel each other out. Okay. Um, there's also uh, a critical bonus when it comes to completing tests. Right. So say if you get roll five swords within your roll, and that might seem pretty difficult when you have fours and threes and all that kind of stuff, but there's opportunities where you might roll yep. two, two, two sets of two and, and that kind of stuff. Um, for all of the various actions that you can do, so... Um, attacking avoiding and doing damage so sorry when i mean when i mean attacking i mean trying to hit the enemy yes um there's various bonuses for all of those when it, when you score five swords or more mm -hmm. and they all sort of depend on the weapon that you're holding mm -hmm. so you know a katana when it is it's when it is trying to do a test of aim and it succeeds on five swords it does a deep cut Whereas a spear would do impale, whereas a bow would do a mm. fast shot, And they all do different things. Don't and they all have various things. Some of them make it easier for you to, to, to hit the mm. opponent. Maybe they roll less dice. Yeah. Maybe it causes a blood spot um, and all those kind of things. Yeah. But the, the, the important thing is that um, when you score a crit, which is five or more, mm -hmm. um, they're different things for the same weapon on different points yeah. of the game. 
So it, you know, scoring a crit on on a, on on a strike is a deep cut for a katana, but it's a quick jab when you're avoiding, mm -hmm. and it's a follow up when you're doing damage, yeah. and that's that's all detailed within uh, this sort of quick reference guide, which we also have yeah. in the comments. And there's one last thing as well, just quickly. Let's say we have four dice and we have more so uh, more crosses than swords. You actually crit fail. Yes, that's right. Mm. Um, and when it comes to failure. Uh, we, the, the game calls this fumble, so this is when you have more crosses than swords. Um, and, and with all your weapons, is, they, they can be one of three things that happen. So, uh, unlike the weapon bonuses where you have for the crits, this just covers whatever the unit is holding. So, uh, there could be a counter thrust slash accident, um, and this is where, uh, when you are attacking a unit, you failed by hitting more X's than anything else mm -hmm. you might be stabbing yourself in the foot you might have tripped you might the gun might have exploded and hit your finger or something like that um, and this is where the opponents the person you're trying to attack actually gets an opportunity where they can roll a dice if they score a sword um, if they score two swords then you cause two blood drops on the yep. person who's trying to attack um, when it comes to avoid, uh, you get lost footing, which will smack your figure down the ground, mm. um, and that means he's easier to hit, and he needs to waste an activation to get back up. Yep. Uh, and then there's glanced off when you are taking damage, uh, and that just forces everybody back just an inch, and mm. no wounding happens at all. Cool. So those are how the uh, honor dice work. Yeah. We're going to get into a 24-point game. Um, so we're going to pick a mission from the rulebook, mm -hmm. have a look at something simple that'll be nice on camera, and um, we'll, we'll go through a, a quick game together. Perfect. In this game, we're going to be playing Attack the Shrine. So if you have a look in the center of the board here, we have this Tori gate that's going to represent the shrine. I'll be playing the uh, red clan. Tyler will be playing the yellow. Uh, and the objective here is... We have to get more victory points than the other opponent. That can be done through actual kills of the enemy infantry. But I have the opportunity to pray at the shrine. Uh, and the longer that I pray, the more points that I can score for that. Uh, and Tyler will want to stop me as quick as possible. So uh, in this scenario, I'm the defender. And I get to place all of my figures on the board first in a defensive position. And Tyler then gets to choose which side he's going to deploy from which edge. So uh, I'll just give you a quick run through of the units. Uh, most of them are fairly similar. Uh, this one here in the middle here, this samurai here, he's the armored samurai hero. So he's the strongest uh, unit I have in my force. Uh, we also have a mounted samurai hero here. So he's the one with the sword up in the air and he's on cavalry. Uh, he just gets to move a little bit faster than normal troops. Um, at the front here, we've got two groups of uh, spearmen Ashigaru, and we have a banner bearer. He will help with plus one agility to all followers within six, so he's pretty useful. To the left and right of my uh, samurai, I have these mounted retainers, so they're just fast moving cavalry, but they're normal infantry. And hidden at the back here, I have a group of muskets. Um, so, what do you have, Dino? Um, so, on my side, starting off the table, but I will show the camera, I have a banner bearer, much like yours. Um, I then also have my armoured samurai hero. Yep. And then I have some awesome people here. I've got uh, my battle-worn samurai, mm -hmm. and then a devoted samurai, which is a really cool model that I know we can go from. That is from Man Cave Productions, which is a recently yeah, uh, that's created uh, 3D print company here in Perth. We'll put his uh, put his business details in the comments. Yeah, uh, if you want to check out some really really cool models, or you just have STLs. I think he also just print, yeah, just yeah. print stuff as well. If you uh, have something, he's in WA, so really um, really nice. Um, moving on, I spearmen. also have some spearmen. Two units of uh, spearmen actually. Yep. And then I also have some muskets. Yep. Um, yep. Yep. And then finally, last bit, the mounted a retainer. Mounted retainer. Yeah. So um, he, he, cavalry in this game is is sort of interesting as a, that it has more movement, but there are uh, sort of negatives. So 
spear spearmen are better at attacking cavalry than the cavalry at attacking the spearmen. But um, you know, there's benefits um, to there's you know positives and negatives to everything that you take. As there should be. Okay, so we're gonna turn into turn one. We'll have a little turn tracker here. That to note that we're on turn one. And this blue dice here, that's gonna be as I pray. Uh, I'll get more victory points, and we'll, we'll kind of explain that how it goes in. Cool. So, so first things first is that we have the all the tokens in that uh, bag over here, and we need to find out who is playing first. Just having a look. Attacker draws the first token, I so yellow first gets okay. the first token. That makes sense. Uh, I'm, I'm off the board, so and, we interview you. And there's your uh, oh, take Oh, oh fantastic. So that's beautiful. Um, so, Tense of Honor, normally played on a 3x3. Three three. This is a 4x4 four four board. We're just going to deploy an inch in. Oh, sorry, a foot in. 12, 12 inches. 12 inches. Um, um, <laughs> just, it's just so we could get all the nice yeah. scenery in. So, first one up. Yes, a uh, red token, which is nice the hero token. slash companion. So uh, Tyler can choose one of those three character figures to activate. Mm -hmm. And I am going to take my battle one samurai. Um, so I'm so for I'm six inches. Six inches for the move, which yeah. is the action that he's going to commit to. But we're deploying twelve inches in as well. So, so am I deploying? You are deploying. Oh, okay, cool. Well, in that case. Don't don't try this at home, kids. Um, this isn't what usually happens. Um, we just have a bigger board than usual. Just That's all. Bigger board. So it's normally just six inches, but I'm going to deploy eighteen inches in. Yep. Are you sure that's right? Yes, that's right. It's a four by four board. Okay. Yep. Cool. That's how it's gone. All right. Um, so technically, I'm actually just deploying anywhere along. Here. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's where the board starts, basically. Excellent. Cool. Wow, that's really close. Yeah. Straight um, into it. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. Uh, let's just put him... Uh, they have to move in a straight line, don't they? Yes. Uh, so he's just going to come here. Fantastic. And I'm just going to put that next to him. Cool. So he knows. Um, so, I think he's lost his sword. But that's alright, we'll find it at one point. Oh, it's up here. Just, just put it offside. <laughs> um, so, uh, Tyler has committed his first um, option from the back. Mm -hmm. Uh, for this mission, this means that he can only deploy from that side of the table yes. moving forward for the rest of his force. And now so, it's your turn to draw. So now it's my turn to draw, so we alternate the bag back and forth and we see what we draw. So if it's a white, I have to commit to a normal infantry. If it's a red, I have to commit to a companion or a hero, etc. So I'm just going to hand this back to Tyler for the next draw. So for my infantry here, yeah, I'm just going to go straight in. Makes sense. So um, this group of... Uh, Ashigara Spearmen mm -hmm. are going to charge Tyler's Samurai. So, uh, they are my veteran Spearmen, uh, and I've chosen them as the veterans. They're a little bit chunkier than the other ones, so that makes sense to me. Um, so, a veteran group can aim at four plus one. So, five dice. So, where the pluses come into, uh, into play is when you have uh, these multi-figure bases. So, figures that have more than two guys, you get the plus one, and that, that's usually how it works out. Mm -hmm. And the plus one gets removed when they're down to a single wound, which yes. is one more left. Yep. So I'm hitting on fives to go I'm for your five dice. Five dice needing three swords. Yes. So, Oof, that's interestingly, crystal. I got a crit on my first roll. Yes. So, a crit for spears is an impale. On and strike. an impale is a plus one to damage, so I get one extra damage dice when I when we go to the damage rolls. However, you get to avoid. I do. So, um, so Tyler's pulled out a token from his bag token. to use his next activation, mm -hmm. and he's now committing to an avoid. Which I use my agility for. Yes. My agility of my battle one samurai is um, uh, four. Right. So I'm rolling four dice, trying to get three swords. Yes. I get none. And this that's is actually not good. more X's. Yes, sorts. so you also fumble. <laughs> it's a fumble. So Which is a, a fumble lost is a lost footing. So first <laughs> off, Tyler's fallen to the ground with his samurai, which means he's going to have to spend an activation to get back up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack him with my spears. They're going to get the plus one from the crit. Yep. And I think they also get a plus one for you being on the ground. Yeah. I'm just having a look. Um, melee weapons. 
doesn't seem to no, say. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out in the next roll. We'll just go with the plus one for a um, normal attack. Yes. So, my veteran spears have a strength of three, but four because they got that crit earlier. Mm -hmm. So if I get three swords, I'll get a wound onto that samurai. Yes. If I don't, it's still good because we'll he'll get a blood um, yes. drop. He does anyway, which is great. Awesome. So cool. That's great. So. Um, so Tyler now needs to draw a wound card. Get a wound card. And I've picked up an arm injury, which means I suffer ne negative one aim for the rest of the battle on that guy. Yeah. No, great. Now, in a normal game, you actually keep the injuries hidden from the other opponent, but we're just going to make this simple on yes. camera. We're just going to show you what's going on. Mm -hmm. We're just having a friendly game. Well, it was friendly until this happened. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> now, um, so, I've finished my move, and now Tyler gets to activate. So I've been very lucky because I forced Tyler to use an activation, and it didn't go well for him. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the way the dice go, right? Yep. Um, cool, so I've actually pulled another hero token. Yep. Um, which means I have to use one of my other heroes, even though that has just performed the last hero to step onto the battle. So has he spent all his actions? Yeah. Okay, He's right. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to bring in my devoted samurai. Yep. And I'm going to come in, so where was it? So we're coming in, yeah. starting from here. Yep. So I'm actually just going to get on the other side. Come around. Yeah. Here. So interestingly here, Tyler's committed to moving here. Despite what's happened here, these guys are no longer a threat because they've already activated. Yeah. So uh, th there's more pressure for me to, to, to commit to this flank and he might be, you know, baiting me for something that's coming up. Oh, I swear. Yeah, I thought that far ahead. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want revenge, I'm not just yeah. here. I mean, I so uh, now I'm back, I get to activate a uh, leader. Uh, I'm gonna activate my armored samurai and I'm gonna commit him to praying. So he's used one, I'm just gonna move this marker to one. So he's prayed once. Mm -hmm. uh, once he prays a couple of times, then I get a victory point. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to pull again, um, and so I actually get uh, a troop. Token, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get my. What should I get out? Let's go with my Some spears. My spears. So these, all my uh, spears are experienced, not okay. veteran. Yep. But they still get to do. Some damage against yeah. some horses. And that's very good because I've got three cavalry in this mission. So I'm actually just going to place them. Push them right in front of your other one? Up there. Cool. Just in front of her. Sure. Um, and that is their activation. Beautiful. Uh, could you hand that back? I most certainly can. Thank you. Let's see what damage you reap this time. Oh though. dear. <laughs> okay, white one, which means I need to commit to infantry. Um, and I don't really want to at this point in time. Um, I kind of want to react with them later. Uh, let me just see. How about... You know what? Let's commit. Do it. <laughs> These spears are going to try and get to that group of spears over there. Is it six inches? Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Um, you're actually closer to this guy, so you actually Ooh, have to try a test of You're wits. right. Okay. A test of wits? Yeah. Yes, yes, you're right. So, a veteran... No, they're not veterans. No. The, the big boys were. Um, these ones are experienced. They have a wits of four. So I roll four dice. And no. So they fail the wits. And they have to charge the They have to on charge the, the samurai who's on the ground, which isn't too bad because That's the spears have done pretty well yeah. for me so far. So as these are experienced and not veteran, they actually hit on three plus one. So four dice in total, not five like four. Important to note, um, they don't actually have to do it like an honor dishonor thing. As, no, because they're followers. because they're just regular yeah. infantry. They can't no, be honourable or no dishonourable. <laughs> yeah, there is only none. companions and heroes get honour. Yes, that's yeah. right. Um, yeah, so I, I would actually be curious to see how this down trip works um, because you're on the floor, mm. uh, and I can't see anything on the quick reference. So let me just have a quick browse. Injury, force, back, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm feeling pretty lucky even not knowing what happens if you're down. 
I'm just going to roll for it, and okay. we'll, we'll work it out in the comments below, and you can tell me how I don't know how to play a game. It's all good with me, I don't really care. I'm here to have fun. I'm rolling four dice. Ooh, that's actually a fumble. That's a fumble. So, a fumble for on a strike, on a strike is a counter thrust. So, Tyler gets to roll one dice, and for all the swords that he gets, I get a blood drop for him. Mm, which is funny, because he's lying on the ground, he's just yeah. stabbing up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hopefully... Oh, oh look, look at that. that! So, I have to move back an inch. Yep. And then I get two blood drops. Now, um, interestingly, blood drops are quite difficult to get on groups. They tend to take the casualties first and the blood later. So this is, this is hard to do, mm -hmm. uh, but really good for you. They're going to be quite weak. And unlike bolt action, you can't lose the blood. Yeah. So the, these are similar to the pin mechanic in a different way, but yeah. you can recover those in bolt. You can't in this no. game. So yeah. that worked out really well for you being it stuck did. on the ground. <laughs> it's just stabbing up in a, in a right. desperate attempt not to die. Let me have a look at what that does while you play on. Yeah, of course. Ooh, I've actually picked up a fate token. The first okay. one of the So turn. there's the fate deck so over I there. A fate card. Um uh, cool. So these Again, you, you keep play. them hidden. Yep. Uh, in a regular game, time. we might just let our, let our viewers know what we've got. Um, keep it easy. Oh, I'll show sure. you. Yeah, keep it away from me. Right. Um, I I'll read it out. If you couldn't read that, I'll read it out when it applies. If sure. It applies, if I that makes sense it. to me. Um, but that's now one fate uh, token out of the Yeah, bag. and the, when you draw the fate, it goes back to the normal drawing for the other player. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I get a hero, I'm just going to put it on my hero again to pray for a second time. And he has three activations, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, he has so three, so he, he can, spent two. He can actually pray. Wherever a two is on this deck now, there we go. Cool, so I've actually picked up a troop. Infantry? Um, do you know, am I allowed to charge coming in, or do I have, is it, does it have to You know what, let's, let's do it. Cool. Sounds good. Awesome. Um, well, I mean, yep. like for like, I'm going to bring my spears on. Yep, and, and get it charged into my spears. Yeah, into this uh, screw pickle. Yeah. Hail him first. <laughs> um, Let's hope he doesn't get a counter throw. <laughs> um, cool. So, okay. so uh, Tyler is attacking my infantry. They have the blood, they which is going to make them easier to. It's either hit or kill. Let me have a quick look. But um, the blood tokens are for damage, so it's yeah. not on the test to aim, it's no. on the test to strength. However, I can't a, avoid it all because I've already activated those troops. Mm -hmm. And so, experience, experience spearmen, they're in a group, so they get that plus one to aim. Yep. So I'm rolling four dice, looking for three swords. Beautiful. I get a crit. You get a crit. Um, with spear, which we know is impale. Yes. Which means I get a plus one to damage. So you're getting uh, plus three to damage okay. because you got the two blood yep. and then the uh, dice there. Yeah. Really important that I can't avoid here. So yeah. you're probably going to knock a couple of them out. Yeah, so they have a strength of three yep. plus three dice. So I'm rolling six dice looking for three swords. Yes. Okay, and you got a crit. That's a crit. So a crit is a follow up which gives you a free charge action. Uh, it's for the. Yeah, it is. Oh, jeez. All right. So, um, first off, You've killed one of the guys in the group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, you get to roll a strike again. Cool. Yeah, because, uh, well, so at the end of any combat, you move away one inch. Yep. Um, just any combat. Yep. And then I have a free charge move. So yep, so get straight back in, back in. Why not? So I'm again rolling three, four dice. Four dice, three plus one because of the group. Plus one. Um, I once again get a crit. <laughs> that's a crit. <laughs> wow. Perfect. So, that's so you're impaling damage. again. Yep. And you still have the two blood, so yep. it's six so dice for damage. Six dice again. Yep. Wow. Um. Oh! Ooh. More X's and swords. So, you fumble. Uh, so, it's a glanced off. And yep. a glanced off means just force back one inch, no wounds. No wounds. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that, this okay. is really brutal. I don't remember it being this brutal last time we played. It's when you pick up the extra dice yeah. that you get those follow-ups. Mm. They just they just happen, mm. you know? Um, it's really so, good. yeah, it, it, it can really sway that you can have a couple of activations even off one. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. It is your turn to draw. Thank you. Right. All right. Yep, I'll just commit to the praying because I don't think you're going to get to me I this don't turn. think I am. Right. There we go. Certainly try. Mm. Um, so, 
I got a hero token. Yep. Um, so... Right. Be mindful of that. Um, so I got a hero token. Mm -hmm. uh, for... No, I'm just going to Get bring on guy in. my armored samurai hero. He can come on anywhere along this board edge. Yep. Um, so I might actually try and threaten something else. Mm -hmm. So if we're saying that's the board edge, he can move up to yeah, here. Yeah, sure, definitely. So I might actually just bring him over here. On over. Oh, yeah. Actually, I just realised you put your muskets there. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I'm just going right to try and hide those. Fantastic. And hide him there. Right. Okay, I will get the next chit, and I've got a white for infantry, which means I need to commit with the muskets. Interestingly enough, I forgot about my little agility bonus oh. from him. He, right. They didn't get that anyway, because they are activated. That's true. So yeah, yeah, okay, didn't so miss it that one. didn't actually mean anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, here's an interesting thing about the game. Yes. Um, I have these cavalry. There are targets that are <clears throat> within line of sight that I want to get, but they're not the closest model. Mm -hmm. So th there's a few decisions to make here. Do I actually maneuver and get them to a position to then attack something else next turn, or do I go for the test of wits and see what's going to happen? So these cavalry aren't going to be very good against the spears, but they might be quite good to just sneak in attack against these heroes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to pick one of them. And I'm going to try for a test of wits. Yes. So, test of wits on a retainer is only three. What are you uh, trying to test of wits Just I might go for the down samurai. Good call. Um, so, your horses have a change, charge range of nine, don't Nine they? inches. Yeah. So, we'll just check that. Yeah, he's just in. Yep. Easy. So, see if he charges them or if he charges the spears. Nope, he's going straight to the spears. He's straight to the spears. What, right. a, what a smart little cavalry man he is. Um, but it doesn't actually matter too much, um, because I can't defend it. Yeah, that's right. But a retainer's a cheap troop. He's only uh, two points, so he's he doesn't have too many dice to use. It's more about using the movements to yes. advantage. Three dice for a test of aim. That's good. Yeah, we hit. Yep. Um, okay, so. I can't avoid. Can't avoid. So, so his strength damage. is four. Mm -hmm. So we're going for three dice, three swords. Four dice. Four dice, dice. but three swords is what we need. Okay, uh, we've got a four, not a five. So we lose one lose of the troops. One of these guys. That's it. Awesome. Okay, next now, chips. So I pulled a hero. Yep. Uh, token. Um, so you've got both heroes on the field. I'm not a big fan of this horseman right here. So okay. I'm going to try and get these, this girl over here to yep. attack. Uh, she is my devoted samurai. Mm -hmm. um, however, I think these guys might be closer. So they're within three inches. Ooh, that's within like two and a half. So he's oh, actually go for it. So I don't have to make a test of wits. Um, I just get to charge in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come in. Um, he spent his token. Yep. Um, and where are Boris? More dice. Yes. yes. I know you don't like it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I like lots of dice. All right. So she has an aim of four. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no bonuses or subtractions for this just yet. So go for it. That's three. Three's enough. Four uh, is enough. Four enough. Uh, okay. So I can't defend. No so defense. Straight so onto strength. strength. Strength of four. Yep. Uh, so, ooh, nothing. No. Um, so we just get the blood on blood. the cab, and he moves back just slightly. Lovely. Oh, I should have moved that back. That's all right. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. Good enough. All good. Uh, your draw. Thank you. So as you can see, this is a really fast-paced yeah. kind of game. It's it's very easy, very simple. Things happen or they don't. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm on to hero. This. So for, for the samurai on the cavalry, the guy with the little uh, bag behind him, he's the, the sort of hero one. Um, so he's just going to move nine, and I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to get him around over here. And we'll bad. see if he can do something next time. Mm -hmm. Is your... Thank you. Alright. Uh, so I've drawn a trap. 
troop. Yep. So, that means I should probably... Oh, I could bring on my... Muskets? Uh, muskets. I could do a cautious move and shoot. Yes, you could. Um, and I think... That's a good move. That's not a bad move. Um, shooting through something. Yep. Uh, you take a negative one to yep, the dice. Yep, when, you? when you've got the mm. uh, intervening terrain. Yes. Um, you also have to be mindful of uh, troops that are within your field of fire that are your own. Yes. Because uh, you can shoot yeah. them in the back. Yeah. If you don't roll it's very always well. fun. So I'm actually going to place these guys here. Yep. My thinking being, this guy is actually closer, so yep. if he wants to try and charge these, he, he has, has to, to go, go for the samurai, samurai. More, more, more than likely. So, do you want to go for the retainer or the hero? Um, so I'm it's actually... Basically the same distance. Basically the same distance. We'll, we'll go with that. We'll set the same distance. Um, and I'm going to try and get rid go of the activation hero. on the hero. Beautiful. So, um, muskets. Uh, my so muskets. very first. Even though uh, it doesn't matter if he's successful or not, he is firing his musket, which is um, a sp you spending the ammo to commit. So to I have to. Um, he will have to reload next have to turn. Reload next turn. So I have four dice because uh, they are a group, so they get uh, plus one to aim. Yep. Um, and I'm looking for three swords. I don't get it. So nothing happens. You just lose your ammo. I just lose my ammo. <laughs> At least you didn't shoot yourself. Exactly. Okay. Hero again. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, so this guy only has two activations. Um, I think nine inches will actually get me to your hero. I think so too. And I think that's closer than these guys. I think so too. Um, but I wouldn't mind trying to hit your musket. So I'm okay. going to go for the uh, test of wits. And this guy is pretty smart. He has five wits. Yeah, and he's not he too bad. It. Makes so, it in. He's in there. We've got his spent dice there. Now, we're going to attack. His aim is a four. Four dice. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a crit. crit. So that's good. And he's got a sword. So, a katana, yep. you will. Yep, so it'll be the plus one damage. Yep. So his normal strength is a four, five for the plus one. Because you can't avoid. Straight in there. And we crit. So first off, we've killed a musket. Yes. He's off the board. And you get a follow-up. And I get a follow-up, so I move, we, we move slightly back an inch. Mm -hmm. And then we commit to the follow-up again. You could actually charge my hero at that point. Mm, you know what? I'm just going to follow up yeah, and see what good. I can do. Yeah. Oh, then I could take your action off you. All right, we're going for it. Wits on your hero. Five wits. He's pretty smart. He can probably do it. He yep. does. Makes it in. Straight in there. Okay, so, um, we didn't crit, so we've got no plus damage, you nope. need to avoid. I do. So, you need some avoid dice. Um, I also need to pull, if you could, a hero yeah, dice. A from action that. token from your samurai. So this is my armored samurai hero, he has an agility of five. Right. So, he is rolling five dice. Yep. Uh, looking for three swords. Oh, oh damn. Man, I am not rolling well today. Well, okay. I was before, but... Strength of four, let's see if we can cause a wound on your samurai. No, no wound. But we get a blood. There's just a little blood drop. And then I move back to slice. Yes. Cool. Um, may that I worked out well for me. Yeah, that was quite a deadly charge. From yeah. What is. No, that's a hero, not. Yeah, that's a hero. It's not just one of the. Man, I'm having a great time. Uh, I pulled a fate token. Yep, so I get another fate one. card. <coughs> um, that's cool. Okay. Next token. Uh, yep. Oh, which you are pulling. So there's only one fate token left. So we could technically go to the next turn. <laughs> I was just hoping that <laughs> we would draw the fate token and then move on to turn two. But that's yeah, okay. You'd like um, yeah. Okay. Interestingly, I don't think my uh, snipers here are in a good position for anything meaningful. Mm. So I'm just going to reposition them. For now. Not bad idea. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just put them six inches of this away. It's not a bad idea. We'll see what happens next turn. Okay. Awesome. So, I have pulled a troop. Yep. I have one troop left. Yep. Uh, oh, you got your cavalry as well. He hasn't come on yet. Oh, I do too. Look at that. I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Um, hmm. How do I want 
want to work this way, and this is my retainer. Yeah, cool. So, uh, he is going to come on. He's used all his actions, so yeah. I might actually. Yeah, you may as well try and wipe him out. Try and wipe him out. So I'm just going to charge on here. Yep, he's got plenty of movement. No, no reason you can't do that. Uh huh. And so that is my mounted retainer. He has an aim of three. Yep. So Keep three. Come on. <sighs> so that's the end of that. It is now your turn to draw. Okay. Hero. Now I don't have a hero that I can activate. So here's what happens. Uh, we give it to Tyler, yes, and then he do. draws the next one as well. Yes. Um. So the only hero that I have left actually is my yeah. uh, my armored samurai hero. Yep. Um. So he's going to do basically the only thing he can or should do in this scenario. Charge right in. Charge right in. Yep. Uh. So I can't defend. There's no defense. Um. I well, I require one more dice. Not only that, are you going to act honorably or dishonorably? Yes. I, for... for I'm already going to probably get a dishonorable card from hitting him, so I'm actually going to act honorably. I also okay. think it's the right thing to do, so... Yes. Um, that's pretty good, actually. Oh, okay. You didn't get... No one noticed. No, yeah. <laughs> people are noticing, which doesn't <laughs> yeah, surprise okay. me. There's yeah, like there is plenty of people around. around. Uh, so I'm rolling so, with four dice. Yeah, because you had five. normally five... Minus one because minus you're one. the uh, honourable so, Tyler. Uh, and it, it, uh, excellent. <laughs> this always happens when you act honourable. Yeah, you never, always, you never get what you always, need. Always. <coughs> so we've got. I think that's all the heroes. Yep. On to you again. Yep. And I have drawn a troop. So get your banner in there. Uh huh. Um, he's actually going to come oh. and defend that samurai. Uh, he. He can probably charge something too. Yeah, I might actually just charge into this blood drop group and try and really yeah get another wound in there. Get in there. Um, so he's activated. I think he has three. He does. He's by himself. Yep. Just three. Uh, looking for three swords. Oh, Beautiful. baby! Finally, here we go. Can't defend. No defense. Straight onto wounds. And plus two for the blood. So I'm rolling five. Need some more dice? No, I've got five dice in my hand. Right. So okay. That's Beautiful. Uh, so looking for three swords again. Far Not out. enough. Not enough. But oh, another blood. Another blood. <laughs> oh, does he get a blood from? No. Yeah. Yes. Did yeah. we get to strength, or we, did we fail on um, to hit? Can't remember. We'll just go with it. Who cool. cares? I can't remember. Not a big deal. Um, all right. Uh, now it's my time to draw. It, it is indeed. Um, and then I can only activate... Yeah, I've still got two infantry. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just activate my retainer and get him in to help the other dude. Um, so, I'm going to go for your retainer. Makes sense. But your um, hero's a little bit closer. Mm. So, let's see. Uh, Wits for a retainer is just three. Oh, no. that's a fumble. On oh no, there's no, there's yeah, no yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going straight for you guy over here. All right, okie dokie. So he hits on a three. No hits. Awesome. Cool. That's very lucky for me. Um, I right. mean, next uh, ships. I have nothing, so I'm hoping for a fate. Yes. So can, yeah. Otherwise, I get to a free activation. Oh, here we are. Look fate. at that. So, fate. what happens here is we shift onto turn two, despite mm -hmm. what's activated. So, all the other tokens go back in the bag, and then Tyler gets the first turn. Yes, and uh, the last fate drawn doesn't get a, a card. fate card. Yep. Now, when I say tokens, I just mean the activation shits. The blood still stays there. The like reload markers still stay there. Yeah. Um, and there's two underneath that guy over there. Sorry, I'm just going to oh, shift. Sorry. We get a little bit messy with this. Typically, you place the tokens on the actual cards um, that you've spent, but I think it's a bit easier to see on camera that we've got the tokens next to the guys, even yes. if it's a little bit... Uh, 
all over the place. Slower to clean. Right. So we're on the turn two. I prayed three times. Yes. Um, so I'm I'm still in prayer. So what Tyler needs to do is he needs to interrupt my prey. I do. And he would do that by doing any kind of attack. And then that would stop me from being able to pray any further. Yep. Now because I have three prayers completed. I think I've got one victory point for the three. I'm just going to have a quick look. Attack the shrine. Three to five is one victory point. Mm -hmm. Six to eight is three. Nine is six. Cool. So you have one victory point. I have one victory point for the three. Awesome. So first thing I pull is your infantry. It's a troop. Um, so. Uh, yes. Um, wait a minute. What do I do? Well, <laughs> um, I'm actually, well, yeah, I'm just going to use... Why don't you break that force, right? Yeah, the, so the, I'm the thinking of trying breaking this. I was trying to save this boy, but I don't know how I'm going to. But So I'm just going to use my uh, token on my banner man. Yep, and so, straight in there. Yep, so three to hit. Three to hit. And that ain't enough, that's nothing. but it's not too terrible. No. Um, I'll get the next token, Your my friend. Weapon. Here we go. What do we got? Alright, we're praying. There you are. Lovely. That's a four. Oh, I've got to get rid of him. Uh, fate? Fate. <laughs> sometimes you want fate, sometimes you don't. Uh, I've got another hero, so I may as well pray again. Get up to that magic six next pray. No good. <laughs> Not happy about this. Um, we still got three turns to play, so yeah, Tyler really can just decimate my whole force. Yeah, <laughs> but I also have to get him off the shrine, otherwise you get quite yeah. a few. Um, so I've got another troop. Yep. Um, same thing, just going to yep, charge these guys in. Go for it. Um, so they get three plus one for being in a group. Yep. Uh, that is three swords. Okay, so I will have to spend my activation not a fate token, a... Because I haven't committed to an action, I have to avoid, which uses up a thing. Um, for the experienced spearmen, they dodge on a three dice. That doesn't happen. I also fumble. Fumbling on a dodge... Against a spear gives you... I get a uh, lost footing, so they're falling down. Yes. Alright, so, now you're... Uh, Sorry, these bases are magnetized, <laughs> so it's a little bit tricky to do that. So these guys have a normal strength of three, because yes. um, of the three blood drops on them. I'm actually rolling with six dice. Yep. Uh, same as last time. Cool. Looking for three swords. You Again. got him. So you get a kill. Get one more. Right. Um, and they lose their group bonus, obviously, because there's only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more group bonus. Uh, cool. So I may as well just get rid of that. Um, Base. Group base. So um, the way I designed these, these are just fridge magnets, and I've just put some uh, metal washers on them just to go for the uh, multi casing. Yes, very, very uh, ingen in ingenious. If I do say so myself. Hey. Oh, no. We're up to six. <laughs> That's no good. Um, cool. That does let me do some things though. Yeah. If I stop drawing troops. Um. Hmm. Good question. Yeah, strange question. Sure. Can you charge with muskets? I believe you can. They have daggers. Okay. Um, I haven't looked into what that means for how many dice you roll or anything like that. Um, but yes, they count as having daggers and so do the archers. Uh, da -da -da -da. Missile weapons, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. When fighting in melee, warriors armed with missile weapons count as using a dagger. So, I don't think there's any negative to the amount of uh, test to aim and all that kind of stuff. It's just more the weapon bonuses. Yep. Cool. Um, cool. I, I actually just read this um, and someone's going to absolutely... What have we done? Knocked on the ground, plus one yes. to strike. Yes. Okay, alright. Well, we... It, we both not use that ability yeah. on yeah. either side, so it's not terrible, and yeah. we'll just go with it moving forward. Good, cool. good pick up. Um, so, I'm going to use my action to charge. Interestingly my enough, 
Malie, uh, cavalry versus daggers. So, um, if I were to attack your musket, so I get a sort of an ability. Yes. But anyway, yes, you do. You're going um, straight into my hero. I am. So they are a group. So they're rolling with three plus one dice. Yep. Um, so that's, that's that. Three swords. That's what yeah, you need. That's what All right. for, so, so I take out an activation token, which is really important because I could have done some better stuff with that that's fine. than having to avoid. But we will see. Can he avoid? He has an agility of four. Hopefully he can, because that'd be even worse. Yes. He does. Okay. He crits it. Uh, and he has the katana, right? Yep. So, so he, he gets, gets a quick jab. jab. Roll one, and I get a blood on your. Dudes, if I get a sword, no, no blood. No blood. Um, right. Yeah, cool. but you spent my activation, which is good Jeez, enough. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, hero. Uh -oh. I've got to <laughs> commit to him now. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm going to say that everything's everything's well, the same because they're, yeah, they're all yeah, attacked. They're all, so they're they're all, all attacked. Inch. They're all yeah. one inch. Um, so I'm just going to go for your hero. Okay. I think, I think that all might right. be. Then again. Yep. Yeah. Like Go on from here. Go, right. Go with my first right. decision. And Aim another four. That ain't happening. Oh no, that's uh, that's not good. That's equal though. It is. Uh, cool. All right. So it's my you. turn. What have I got? A hero. All Ooh. right. Now. Um. I can stand this guy up so these guys don't just stab. Yeah, just wake him up. Why not? Um. Yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, he's waking up. You can move three inches as well. Yeah, I'm not just running away a little bit. He's just gonna he's just gonna come up here. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, well, his sword broke and everything. <laughs> uh, he's, he's not having a good day this one. Um I might actually if he was here, I might actually just move him back. Cool. Behind yeah. the Batman, so they have to go through the Batman to get to Alright, my next activation is a hero token which I don't have, so Tyler gets it and then oh, he wow. gets the next pull. Okay. Well, in that case, um, I'm going to charge with the hero that just stood up. <laughs> right. uh, that feels thematically appropriate. Perfect. Um, so he charges in. He's my battle-worn samurai. Yep. So he's pretty battle-worn at this point. Um, yep. So he's got an aim of four. However, he does have Ooh, he's got injury. injury. So, so he's hitting on the... Three dice. dice. Three dice, yes. Okay. Like a common peasant. Can I play common three? <laughs> can you do it? No, I can't. Uh, oh, yeah, and you get the next pull. I get the next pull. I do indeed. Um, true. Yep. So, he's actually spent all his points. Yeah, yes. So, I'm going to so try and... Go with the troop first, because you don't have to act dishonorable. That's the troop. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah he is yeah. a troop. Yeah, so I'm going to charge into him, try and get some damage on him. Um, yep. so Retainer is a three. Retainer is a three. Come on. Nothing. No, not enough. That would have been good because he's got really the blood good. already. Yeah, yeah. All right. My infantry. What are we doing? Do we go for you, dude? Yeah, we go for you, dude. Um, so, hitting veteran, four plus one, five to hit. Jeez, so good. Um, and that's a crit, that's a which crit. is good. Oh, no. Crit for spears is an impale, which is plus one for damage. No, Can you defend yourself? I can't. Okay, so <clears throat> strength is just three, four for the plus one. Oh, uh, nothing. nothing happened, but which means a blow. It's but a scratch. No. Um, and it's my turn. Oh, that's really lucky. My heart is hammering at the moment. <laughs> um, I think we've forgotten to pull these. No, we've activated them. Yeah. Oh, the first yeah, 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 no, that's yeah, it, because yeah, they got yeah. really damaged. Yeah. Ignore me. But um, I keep forgetting my avoid dude. <laughs> oh, well, he's sitting there looking for you. Alright, um, cool. So, I've pulled the hero. Right. Go for my dudes over here, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. He's gonna charge in and hit him. Yep. Um, he has to choose to act honorably or dishonorably. Yes. I'm going to act honorably again because oh, so I I love the a good honor card. 
Um, cool. Cool. Awesome. So I get four dice because he is my Minus one now. Yep. Yep. So three swords. Look at Got that. Got it. Yes. Perfect. Four. And, and then, then you're going for your normal damage plus one for the blood. So six dice. Ooh. So one more, thank you. All right, you're gonna get a wound on here. Aren't I you? hope so. This hasn't even been edited or anything, this just happened, but oh anyway. Oh my god! Um, a damage is glanced off, so force back one inch, no wind. That's it. So, it wasn't that terrible. Yep. <laughs> oh god. Damn! <laughs> cool. Calm your ball. It's just in oh, shock. so not Infantry, yeah, my banner guy. Um, he's gonna charge your samurai, I guess. I think probably the same distance, right? Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. But um, I will do the little wits thingy. Um, your banner's slightly closer to the samurai. Oh. Um, so, a wits for a banner bearer is three. No, he's gone for your banner guy. Right. Not sure if I like that or not. Okay, we are hitting on a three. Mm -hmm. That's a crit. That's a crit, which is great. Yeah, which is... plus one for damage you can't avoid. Normally damaging on a three, plus one for the crit. That's a hit, so anyway, I've killed your banner. We have. That's you. really unfortunate. Now we're finally getting to a, character, a figure that's been killed in combat. Mm -hmm. From a whole group, we need to do tests of honors. Yes. So, uh, so all, in... all, all of Tyler's infantry, six inches from where that body was, will need to so, do a test of honor. Yeah, so that's... these two guys for sure. Do they get in or not? Uh, they get out. Are companions and heroes affected by? Yes, they are. They are. Okay. I think they're out. So yeah. it's just these two. I think. I think it's these, think it's these guys. Yeah, it is. It's quite easily these guys as well. Oh damn. Um. Cool. So. Okay. Well, let's go with him first. Although, I am going to play Commanding Presence. Ooh. Uh, yeah, if this character is within six inches, then followers gain plus one dice. Okay. So, these two guys, I assume. Plus one all dice? Plus one dice when testing to keep that nerve. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah, That's sorry, what you need. I should have, I should have said yeah, that. Yeah, so um, plus one honor. But, he's not followed, so he just uses his own honor. Which is four. He's pretty honourable, hopefully. He's good. Yes, look at that. Um, um, and critting the honour doesn't really do anything, guys. No, no it doesn't. Uh, okay, so awesome. your spearmen. No, it's my spearmen. They get a plus one. They normally have... What are we spearmen? Honour of four. So, so they actually five. five. Very honourable. And Beautiful. they once again They're crit. Fun. Why am I wasting all my crits on these? And then what, do we think the muskets are in? Uh... In, within range of this guy, absolutely. Within yeah. range of this guy, I think they're just out. Yeah, yeah okay. They're just out, which is unfortunate, but they're still rolling with four because they're a group. And they're fine. They're good. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, really nice, nice work. work. He wasn't that scary. He's holding the scroll. He's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the two banner bearers, they don't really care. <laughs> it's just two banner bearers <laughs> poking at each other. <laughs> um, awesome. Great. Perfect. And another fate token. Man, okay. I'm having a great time over I here. I haven't drawn any. Alright. On to infantry. Um, so, I can activate my cav here, mm -hmm. this cav here, and then the gunners. Um, yes. So, what should I do? I'm going to move my gunners. And I want to shoot them. Okay. But there's stuff that's closer. Mm -hmm. But I've got stuff in the way there as well. I'm just going to say I need to do the test of wits. I'm not going to bother because I'm looking it up. Is aim is 3 plus 1, so 4. Sorry, not aim. I am doing wits, which is 4 anyway. Beautiful. No, it doesn't. So, so I don't go for this. They can't see him, so they're definitely going for him. Yep, but I've got intervening stuff. So it's a negative one? Yep, so let's have a look. Hindu, minus one dice. Yep. 
But I also have to be careful because I can shoot my own friends. Yeah, if you fail. So, let's have a quick um, look. It actually says hindered minus one uh, each minus one dice, and there is two. There's two guys. Okay, cool. Risk of shooting friend. Warriors can shoot past enemies that are hindering the shot, uh, assuming their wits to the target enemy who is the nearest. Yep. Each enemy hindering the shot loses one from the strike roll. Um, and then if I fumble the strike roll, I hit one of my friends. Yes. Okie dokie. So, I am hitting on a four, minus two because of the two guys in the way. Yes. So two dice. So don't fumble. <laughs> Okay, didn't successfully hit, nice. didn't yep. fumble. That's, that's, that's good enough. That could have been <laughs> really fun. Um, and <laughs> then I put my little aim token there. Yeah, they fired. Um, cool. Cool. My turn to draw. Wow, oh, that would have been fun to fumble. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it wouldn't have <laughs> uh, So I got a troop token. Yep. I think I only have one troop left. Yeah, I do. Those guys. Those guys. So yep. they're going to just go in for that. Just charge on to this guy. Um, okay. Hitting so, on a uh, hitting four, four dice because uh, they're a group. Three yep. plus one. Uh, they don't. Not enough. Excellent. Okay. Good. That's fine. Hero, which goes to you. Don't have any. All right. So I think it's this guy that's yeah. in there. Oh, she uh, has I've a got her as well. Um, I was hoping to save her and get her straight into Yeah. Her. Yeah. Not gonna happen. Um, she doesn't need to attack this guy. She can just do a move. And then you yeah. want to get in a movement spot that's mm. closer to him than yeah. that. So, if I'm moving up to just terrain... Yeah, yeah, just just do one inch, you'll be fine. Mm. So, I could move to there. Yep. Pre-measuring's a lap, but yeah, way, yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, so, you're this close, and then, oh, let's see, he's probably about six inches. He'll be closer still. But... She can push through that gap. You reckon? Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, yeah, okay. Go for it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Right. There. Um, I drew that one, so you draw the next. Oh, sure. Uh, yep, that that there. next I have. Uh, so we've drawn two fakes. Right, so this. Yep, we go to turn three. Ah, there we go. <laughs> turn three. So on to turn three, tokens back in. That's not um, good. I needed to use those last couple of actions. Yeah, it. it it can get quite useful depending on the situation. For me, uh, I've activated mostly everything, mm. so it's beneficial to me, and I want less opportunities for you to continue the assault. Yeah. I want more chances to just go to the next turn and get those victory yes. points up. So, you draw. Mm -hmm. uh, so, let's see. Infantry. Not what I was hoping for, hoping to knock that guy off his pedestal. <laughs> um, you know what, that, that's okay. Things can happen with okay. this. Um, so I'm going to use these guys again, actually. They're going for the banner gun? Uh, I think they have to. Um, Unless you wits against the other one. Yeah, on the no, floor. I'm, I'm happy to just go for the banner gun here. Yep, sweet. Because um, he'll have to spend his move on getting up anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so move. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to use Ooh. Prove Their Worth, uh, a, a honor card yep. that I got. Yep. Um, so next follower, these yep, guys, these to guys. charge or shoot, gain plus one to the strike roll and the damage roll. Beautiful. So because they're a group, uh, three yeah. plus one, plus another one for proof their worth, I'm rolling yep. with five dice. And they hit. They hit. Um, so I have to spend my defense. Now I'm going to remember the only opportunity I'm going to remember this whole game. No! The shrine. He's still, he's still praying. He's, he's still praying. He's still praying. Okay, this guy. Yes. Um, he normally avoids on a three, but four because he's a banner. He's given the banner bonus to himself. Yep. Yeah, you are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> cool. God damn. Uh, that's, that's, that's that. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Fate, I got one. <laughs> All right, so. I'll take a card. What do we got? Oh, that uh, proof that worth is a one-time use, so actually. Beautiful. This one's one per turn, not like that. Mm, that's a good one. Okay, so my draw, I've drawn a hero. Mm -hmm. Now there's one thing I want to do. 
Oh, you're gonna come right in there. I have to. I have so, to. So, uh, let me read the conditions of you breaking my prayer. So, uh, I spend every action assigned to me making the prayer unless forced to make an avoid. Um, da -da 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 -da, he gives a plus one honor to friendlies within six while he's praying. You are attacking me, and you it will be dishonorable to attack me while I'm praying, even yes. though that I can avoid. Okay. So, so I have to take a dishonor card. You have to take a dishonor card, mm. despite if you wake me from the prayer or not. I see. So you, you really want to so hit. So I'm hitting on five because I am taking a dishonor card, so I do get a yeah, extra Yeah, yes, that's right. But I do have to take that dishonor card. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Uh, next warrior that takes a test of honor loses one dice. Okay. So that's just if they're running. Sure. I assume? Yeah, test of honor. Losing yeah. Yep. Cool. So I'm rolling with five dice. Cool. Looking for three swords. Get the three you swords. You get the three. So, so take out a samurai token for me. Yep. And then we're broken at the prayer. I can't re pray anymore. I, am, I have an agility of five. I didn't pass it! <laughs> oh. This could get spicy. Um, <laughs> and I, this is my devoted samurai. Uh, they have. Oh no, and he's. Oh, I shouldn't get the fan in here! No! Well, I think. Um, I only to follow us, so it wouldn't matter. Oh, anymore. okay, yeah. right, okay. Um, so rolling with five, looking for swords. Yep. Ooh, Ooh and a crit! Well, that's a crit. So, I take. Um, a wound. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't care about keeping the secret. Minus one to agility. Because I don't think he's going to make it after uh, the next round of combat. Well, we'll see. Uh, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. So I'm rolling again. I don't get the dishonorable bonus because there's we're still no an activation. We're in, we're in honorable town. It's just in honorable <laughs> combat now. Uh, but I don't get an honor card. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. rolling with a flat four. Yeah. Do I have any cards at the field? Well, you have to take your minus one now, don't you? What for? The dishonor card. That's a test of honor. Test of honor. Yes. Okay. It's cool. Just for cool. Tests of yeah. Honor. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so next time one yeah. of my warriors wants to run away, he's yeah. going to run away gotcha. even harder. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's three swords. So I need a token. Yep. And I need to try and avoid. Um, I have five agility, but I? only four because of the leg injury. <sighs> that's why I was thinking four. A box it, that's alright. Anyway. But he created the block? He created yeah. the block? Yeah, <laughs> he created the block. Which uh, gives me a quick jab. One dice, any good. swords, you get blood. Yeah. <sighs> I saw it, I saw it, and then it bounced! <laughs> oh, well. uh, cool. So he's used up yeah. two activations? Yeah. Did you grab a token for me? I thought I did. I must not have. I don't know. Thank you. Yeah, cool. So. Uh, that was your move, so it should be mine now, right? Yes. 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 Um, yeah. Cool. Infantry. Exciting times ahead. Reload. Makes sense. Alright. Troops for me too. Um, what do I want to do? I mean, sitting here, I can try the moment to just try into this guy and go there. So we've got three plus one aim on my spears into your horsey. Right. Um, so did you have the plus one for cavalry? You have spears hitting hitting cavalry, that's a thing. It's, it's not only uh, when defending, it's just defending against mounted. Is it? Yes. Yes. Looking at it now. Okay, if you can see it. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. Experience, experience. Yes, yes, so I, gotcha. To agility when defending. When defending, yes. got you. Makes sense, got you. Yep. And stand there with the yeah, yeah. stabby stuff. Stabby stuff. Uh, that is enough That's swords, a hit, so. Um, yeah, take a token out for me, that'd be nice. Now. This thing just gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, I blocked it. You blocked it. Beautiful. That's, that's pretty good. That's All lucky. Right. Shift that yeah. just a little bit. Sweet. Um, and okay. it is your pull. Lovely. Infantry. Um, so. What have we got left? Bannerman. This guy. Oh, yeah, the, this oh, the experience yeah. group. Let's, let's go for it. Let's go, go for, for it. a samurai shot. Why not? Um, five to hit. 
like these veteran ones. <laughs> that's a fumble. That's a fumble. Yeah, that's a counter thrust. Okay. Um, so one dice for you. Yep. So, uh, so one. So if I get swords, you take a blank drop. No swords. No yep. swords. All good. Next draw for Tyler. It is indeed. Hero. Lovely. Man, I wish I had another one. Ah, uh, that's okay though. Because. You're not oh. getting away with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's actually that yeah, guy yeah, was I think three, he's on three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Fate. Mm. Oh, I forgot my fate token one. Ah, oh, your last fate card. Yeah. Why did I put him face down? All right. Well, who wants to use that? <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good time. I, I have one here that's deflect arrows, and I'm looking around. I'm like, no uh, one has we any don't have any. <laughs> um. So I got a hero token. Okay. Let's have some fun. Oh dear. Um, I'm going to charge in to this guy. Mm, um, I've still got one activation to which indeed. is good to defend. Yeah. Um, so no dishonorable Tyler. <laughs> uh, cool. Yep. Cool. So yep. this is my battle one samurai. Yep. He's rolling with four dice. Looking for the swords. Doesn't get them. Nice. That's really dangerous. Oh, my samurai can come back and stab one of them! No! <laughs> yes! No! <laughs> and he's been wounded before, right? The yellow one. Yes. The, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the armored, the guy, not the, the lady. The yellow one. <laughs> They're all yellow. <laughs> Alright, so. Hitting on a five. Uh, you have to choose to act honorably or dishonorably, my friend. Oh, man, I'm honorable. So I'm hitting with four lines. Oh, that's a good one. I get a free action after I do this. No. Yep. Yeah, but it's one of my followers. Ah, oh, okay. Free action. No. <laughs> Far out. So, um, that's a crit. Yeah. So I get plus one on the damage. Mm -hmm. He's normally hitting on a five. Six. Alright. Oh, all right. It's all that praying. Yeah. He's been meditating. He sure. saw this battle two turns ago. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. And that was his second wound, right? Yeah, he's, he's yeah, out. He's gone. Whoa. So, um, tokens are pushed aside, and we don't put them back in the bag. Yes. No, um, no, no. And if he had any tokens that were still in the bag, they stay there for that turn. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, sorry, now I get my follow-up. Oh, four? No, I don't. No, you got... I created it on the damage, and yes. that was it. Yep. No, sorry. on the strike. On the strike. If you created it on the damage, it would have been a follow-up. Yeah, that's... That's that. Cool. That. All right. Jeez. Okay. <sighs> um, so we played this game a couple of months ago. Yeah. We uh, where I defended game. and it was completely the other it way was around. Absolutely the yeah. other way around. It's still really cinematic, really, yeah. really fun. But it was a <laughs> bloodbath. Oh, sorry. Can I get my so. free free activation? Can you just activate that anytime? Uh, no, once. When the current action is complete, one of your followers makes a free action. Okay. So um, that's after you made that after action. After I killed so, that. Yeah, go for it. Make so free, free action. action. That's pretty good. I may as well do the move and shoot. Yeah. We'll go for your lovely lady. Alright, shots are off. Uh, musket is hit on four. That's a hit. That's a hit. I can't defend. Uh, muskets are damage four. Damage four. Yeah. Is it one says more? three on the. T oh yeah. yeah. Four damage dice. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Special rule. She gets a injury. wound. Injury. Jeez, man. You are chewing through my heroes. If you could not, that'd be great. Uh, so she has a negative one to strength. Oh no. She got a torso injury. Oh no. Um. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to use it on my muskets. Mm -hmm. just gonna and they're going to stab. <laughs> stab. Why? Why? Guys. Why waste the turn? Why waste the turn? Preloading when the cavalry's right in front of you. Yeah. Um. So three plus one for being in group. So four. That's, That's what you need. That's a crit. Turn. All right. So with, take... with daggers. 
Yes. Quick, quick jab. So, uh, roll one dice. So they just get an extra. There's a possibility of getting an extra blood. So okay, I'll cool. Roll, I'll uh, I've roll. got it. You should do that now. Yep. Yes. Cool. Nothing? No. Alright, so now I defend with my hero. Yes. He's got an agility of four. He makes it. Awesome. Cool. But I spent that. token sucks. <clears throat> okay, hero. Yep, that's him. He will stab your retainer, the one with the horse behind him. Yep. Um, hitting on a four. Hits. Hits. You need to defend. I'll get your defense little token. I think you defend on with three dice. Uh, retainer. retainer. Three agility. Three agility. Yep. Cool. Um, and my banner's dead, so it's nothing missing that. Uh, cool. Oh, three. Yeah, cool. So right. you hit. And then I'm on to my strength of four. I get a follow. From damage, yeah. I feel bad. <laughs> now you know how I felt last time we played this. Um, it was rough. I thought you liked this game. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, look at this blood blood. This is awesome. We're gonna go for your muskets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're not. Doesn't happen. Yes. Right. On to you. Um, and he's now... Yeah, placing that one. Well, I mean, they're all one inch, so it doesn't actually yeah, matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um... God damn. What a bloodbath. And it's the end of the turn. Oh! Look at that. Turn four already. That's... really not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. Oh, no. So, we play to the end of turn five. End of turn five. Is there any chance of it going longer? I don't think so. Have a look. Cool. Battle ends after turn five. That's all it says. Cool. Cool. All right. So we've got a few less tokens in the bag. I put okay. like a infantry one here. Did that go off to the side? Yes. yes yep. Sir. Okay. Cool. Beautiful. All right. So we're good. Cool. Cool. First up, hero. That's you. <sighs> Well, we've got to do the dance. I think we've got yep, to do go the dance. Yep, go for us. Yeah. You can get lucky. I know. <laughs> Just have to be really yeah. lucky. Yeah, really lucky. Um, do you have any cool abilities there? That no, I, I'm up? looking. I'm yeah. looking. I wish. Uh, yeah, no. Nah, I got nothing. Oh. Nothing that can help in this scenario. Um, in the interest of time, I'm going to let this pass, but we did do a casualty here that would have done a test of honor for all that stuff over there. Oh, yeah. Um, do you want to do that now? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. I mean, they used all their actions on for the... At worst, they would move back six inches. Okay, if I'll, look, I'll roll it now, yeah, and right, I'll move them right. back if they need to. Um, it doesn't actually affect too much for the actions, because we pull the fade the next time anyway. Yeah. Uh, so what am I rolling here? Yeah, this is wrong. musket man, muskets. On a four. Yep. However, I have lots of respect. Yeah. Um, however, however, I have commanding presence. Oh, right. So they can each other out. All right, beautiful. So I'm still rolling with four. They're fine. Yep. And um, then your leader dude there as well. So he's my leader. Rolls with five. Cool. You should be good. But he's not. Uh, yeah. He didn't pass it. He didn't pass it. Crit failure. So he moves back for Yeah, there you go. Oh, sorry, man. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah. So, yeah, back to the action. Back to the action. Um, cool. So that's my devoted samurai rolling with four. For aim. Yep. Hey, you got it! Alright, right. cool. So, I waste a token to defense. I think you need five for your agenda. Yeah, he's a pretty good guy. He's meditating a lot. Yeah, yeah, he's really calm right now. <laughs> Not calm enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright. So, uh, he's already got one injury, by the way. So, okay. you get another successful wound, he's out. Alright. Uh, so, I roll with five dice, I think. Yeah, the most time right. <laughs> yes. Oh. And that's a follow up, too. Oh, mate. So, he's down. Follow up straight into the muskets, right? Yeah. 
Um, beautiful. Just oh, what you needed. I might actually try and test the wits it into this. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Go for it. Um, because that's hilarious. Uh, yes. So test of wits with this one for my is wow. Uh, yep, you got she it. Passes. So she's she's going to turn around and just murder this guy. Yep. Or quickly. Agility bonus is going to come into effect. Uh, these guys. Did you want to choose a different target? No, no, no. Uh, so these guys are going to have to try see if they run away, and he's going to have to see if he runs away. You're right. Okay. But not the target you're going for. No, which I is think good. they're just out. Beautiful. All right. So muskets. Yeah, just out. Muskets are only four dice of honor. They pass. They pass. Now, uh, what's important, not only do they move six inches back, so if they fail, they lose, lose their, their activation. Action. So, um, Retainer is only three on it. He passes. Awesome. Um, let's kill this guy. Uh, <laughs> may I have another aim dice, please? Yep. Um, nothing. Okay. Awesome. Right? Um, oh, well, it was a free move anyway. Yeah. No. Alright, activation is me onto this guy. Go straight into your muskets, why not? Go for it. Um, hitting on a four. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. And what's that thing about fighting daggers? Oh, they get a plus one dice for, uh, is it for aim. Strike? Yeah, it's for the aim. Alright, so, so just roll another dice. I'll add another one in there. Hey, that's what it is. Okay. okay, and then um, you need a block. I do. Uh, may I have a. Yep, token, it's coming. I'm actually going to do something really interesting here. Ooh. I have defensive four. What that means is I get, uh, I activate, basically I crit on four plus. Instead of fives. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm rolling. What are, what are these guys? Musky man. Agility, I'm rolling on three dice anyway. Do you have anything else that helps you? Um, no. 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 Cool. Okay, that's another one gone. Uh, that was the agility. I still got to do this to oh, damage. That's true. That's yep. true. So strength of four. Yep, I got yep. one. Another one. Yep. Cool. Cool. Right. Uh, back to your actions. Mm. True. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try. down to the nitty gritty. Still got a healthy squad of mm. spears. I'm gonna try and get these guys into him. Yep, go Otherwise, for it. I'll go for him. Yep. Uh, so they're gonna test yep, the wits. Yep, go the wits. And they have a wits of uh, spearmen three, four, four. Their experience spearmen is four. Cool. They don't, so they're just gonna so charge go straight into Bannon. Bannon boy. Uh, so they have an aim of three plus one, so, so four. four. Cool. Nothing. Oh, lucky me. Yeah, lucky you. Lucky me. <laughs> well, I'm wasting all of my luck on this video instead of the actual tournament. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're not playing. Well, I'm not playing. Probably probably not playing yeah, yeah. Um, all right. What do I want to do? You, have tea you know what? He's just going to wake up. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> He's been down for three inches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I'll just, just make different targets for you to go yeah. for, you know? It's not a bad idea. Alright, next one for you. Hero! Hero, okay. What's she gonna do? Um... So... I should have moved him closer to the musk. <laughs> oh. Well, I might have, I'm gonna charge him anyway, because he yeah. won't have an ability. They have to reload. Yep. I still have to wish. Oh, yeah, because yeah. they're closer. Yeah. On there. Yeah, so that's true. I mean, you may as well wits and then decide who you want to go for, right? Um, sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're allowed to do that. Oh, yeah. I, oh, you I'll, have to I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Hello. We're fast and loose, yeah? No. Yep. So, right. so, so go on straight to the close one. Sweet. Um, cool. So, so, aim of four. Four. Nothing. Nothing. Great. 
No. Hey, she did her job. Did she? She killed that guy. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah. She did. Just, you know, three turns to the Yeah, sure. Um, no, nah, you know, my banner guy, he's dead strong. Go for it. Yep. He's having a great day. Very strong. Yeah, very strong. Uh, and then does he have like a does he have a strength of four? No, just three. Yeah. That's all he needs, mate. Yeah, <laughs> and he didn't he crit something? No, just then. No, he rolled four. It was yeah, close. No, 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 it was close. Sorry, you're drawing for your Yeah, that guy out of yourself. <laughs> I see you. Um Hero. Right. So I have one hero left. He's over here. Um, yeah, so he's actually just going to charge. Yeah, he's six inches away because we did the six inch yeah. from it, so go straight in. Why not? Uh, yeah. Cool. So he's going to charge him. Yep. So I'm this is my battle lord samurai. Aim of four. Oh no. Why not? I mean, it hits anyway. But that's actually my armored samurai hero. The uh, battle lord samurai was the one. Yeah. Who okay. Lost right. Well, let's see if you get a crit. What? Get that's a exactly crit. Exactly what you need. <laughs> I spend my activation to defend. I need one yep. more. Um, so with a katana? I defended, which does. is good. So the katana would give you a plus one for damage, which isn't going to happen now. Yeah. Did I just crit? I uh, don't know. Who cares? We'll move on. No, you did. Yep. Oh, you I absolutely did. did. So okay. I think you get a follow-up. Oh, no. A quick okay. quick yeah, but... So roll one. See if... No. No. Alright. Cool. And then I'm activating next. Infantry. Um, yeah. Let's get these guys. They're, I want to get them over there. They're really dangerous. Yeah. Did you want Hold on, no, no, no. I, oh, think, I think that one's slightly closer. Yeah, I think so. So, I've got all the dice. Up. you got all the dice. Alright, so, with wits on our veterans, they're very... Uh, they're just four. Yep, three will do it. So they'll go in the smaller group. Mm -hmm. Hitting on five. Uh, they hit, no crit. Uh, no wounds, straight on to damage, yeah. which is just three. We killed one. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Just getting down to the nitty gritty. Yep. Um, cool. I only have one trip left to move. Um, I'm so, actually going to try and test the wits into Yeah, because we're at the point in the game where you need to just get the kills wrapped right, up. It. Uh, so they have a wits of four, because they're experienced, they don't make it. Alright, so that's straight into the calf, straight into the calf. Um, aim of three plus one. Yep. They so make it. Just. They make it. And then I got a defense on a three. Don't make it, so no straight on to your damage. Mark plus one because of the blood. Uh, and they are experienced spearmen, so three plus the one, so four. Beautiful! And, that's and a it's a crit, which is a follow up. Hell yeah, he's gonna come for this. Yep. Um, so they're rolling three plus one again for your yep. aim. They don't do anything. Oh, because I couldn't have defended that, that would have been good. That could have been really good. <gasps> All right, well, that's okay. But you wasted my activation as well. I did. Oh, I never put these fates back in. Well, they're back in now, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Make right. sure you always put your tokens back yeah. in. Alright, so on to you. Awesome. Let's uh, reveal the skill. Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. Um, so, hey. hero. Oh, hero. Hero. Right. Uh, and he's going to attack your hero. Yep. Uh, Honor or dishonor? I don't know why I have time for any honor at the moment. It just needs to happen! <laughs> just to die! Um, so. Um, he um, has four already. I'm, I'm gonna be honorable. I'm gonna be honorable. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no one saw it? No, it's it's okay. okay. It, it kind yeah. of counters out the yeah, okay. loss of respect. Does that, does that continue? No, or is that no that, that's done, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, um, but I get four. Four is what you need. Yes. I can't defend. No defense. Straight on some kills. So it wins with plus one for blood. Yeah, so he has a strength of five, going to six. How did just. You got it, you got it. Just. Um, um, he, he isn't had... injured, no. He's not injured. So he gets an injury. 
Okie dokie. Minus one to wits. Awesome. Cool. Um, your draw. Thank you. Hero. Don't have one. Ooh. And this is my last hero one. He's gonna do the same thing. Why not? Honor or dishonor? Dishonor. He needs oh! to die. <laughs> <laughs> You must die. Oh, same thing. Lots of respect. Oh, okay. um, that's not too bad. No, that's okay. So, so there are ones that do like on a test for everybody yeah. and all kinds of. Stuff. It can get pretty Six. mental. Um, but I have six dice. Yes. So hopefully he dies. Yes. Yeah, but you think oh, just, just you didn't get the impale. No, I didn't. Yeah. That would've been good. Yeah. Um. Yep. No defense. Does it Six dice, dice for so damage? five strength blood drop. Yep. So six dice again. You got him! And that's a follow up! Oh, that's a crit! Oh! He's out! Yeah, now I'm gonna charge into this guy. Beautiful. Um, so. Five. See how fast this game changed! Oh. Uh, so that's five dice on him. Yep. That's a crit again. <laughs> so you get the plus one for the damage? Uh, what for the crit? Plus one damage? As a katana? Yeah. Uh, no, deep that's cut? for a spear. Oh, um, it is. Deep cut is uh, on each light room, roll one die. Uh, Every sword causes an extra Yeah, problem. okay. Yeah. He hasn't activated though. Yes, so, so you I actually... have to dodge it. Yeah. Can I dodge it? Come on, three. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, on to my uh, activation. Yep. Well, there's not much for me to activate now. Um, infantry, and all I've got left is the muskets. Um, oh no, I've got. Yeah, oh, no, Banner Boy's already activated. Yeah. Muskets, do they reload or do they just tack with, tack with daggers? Why? Go for it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, she's fine. wounded already, right? Yeah, uh, no. No, she hasn't been hit. Oh, oh no, yeah, no, she's got torso injury. She's got a big one. Oh, wound. damn. You could technically take her out with this. Let's do it. <laughs> she gets stabbed to death <laughs> damn, <it's> after <laughs> killing the, the hero. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. mind. Well, a quick jab, please. Alright, go for um, it. So they roll one dice. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, counter thrust. Counter thrust. So opponent rolls one dice, one or more gives them a blood drop. Yep. Nothing. No. Cool. On to you. Alright. Um. Yeah. What you got? Sorry, I thought there was only fate tokens left. Oh, okay, list. you're just checking yeah, if yeah. that was that. Uh, yeah, what can you activate? Oh, uh, well, I think we've still got two actions from your hero. Yes, Not we that do. I have any. Yeah, no. So uh, it's I just pulled a fate anyway. Yep, yeah, alright. Um, so. so, is that the last one? Uh, there's one yeah, more. Yeah, one more. And then I get the last one. Alright, tokens back in, tokens and then I'm drawing back. next turn. Yeah. Okay, let me take away my samurai um, tokens, because he dead. Uh, he's dead as well. He's dead as well. That's a token over there. And we'll just leave his tokens underneath his body in case. Does he have his tokens? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I might have accidentally taken one out. So. Yeah, cool. Let's go stick under there. Alright. So Whoa! Here we go. Turn five. We're this is at it. the end of the game. There's a lot of death happening. But I haven't done the maths to see what that does. Um, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna activate him while he's alive. Okay. I think that's the smart play. I think it is too. Um, I will wits him. Mm -hmm. What is he? He's the experience group, which is a wits of four. Yeah! Alright, where's he going? I could go for the easy kill over there, or I just attack her for a chance. Oh, I mean, I'll go for these guys. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Alright, let's get him. Go for it. Stabby, stabby. Alright. He's gonna hit on a three with no plus one. Nothing else. Possible. On to you. Alright. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, I got straight in. Get that, get get that done. Get rid of you. Um, so, three plus one, rolling the fours. They make it. They make it. No Can't defend. Crit. No, no defense. Plus three dice for wounds. Oh, true. For blood. So, I think I've got six. Strength of three. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You got yeah. it. And, and a follow up. A big follow up. So you yeah. um, 
Bannerman? Yeah, I'm thinking. Is he? He's going to be he, easy uh, to kill. Yeah, I think he's the closest. Uh, what, what yeah, we'll that? go with that. Yeah, Three sounds good. Man. Yeah, just. Yeah, they're basically the same. Sweet. So, got up. Yep. All right. Him. So rolling with four. Yep. Not what you need. A fumble, eh? That's a fumble as well. So I do a um, just roll jab or whatever it is. Kind of thrust. Hey, you get a blow. Awesome. Um, All right. Yep. Yeah. Onto me, fate. Onto you. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, that was. That's actually a really good card. I shouldn't use that. Never mind. I got a hero. Cool. Uh, which hero? Question. In a... Interestingly, I have no heroes on the field, so every time I draw the hero, it's gone to you. Okay. Um, I got to try and get those quick kills. Um, so I'm going to try and test the wits it into him. Go for it. Uh, she has a wits. I'll she witty. Four. She's, she's a little witty. Um, I don't think I have anything to end. Then I do not. Yep. Uh, bah. Not so witty. Not so witty. Go on, straight um, into the muskets. So it's straight into the muskets. That is four dice yep. with the aim. That's a fumble. Wow. All right. This last turn is not doing me any favours. She gets blood. And she gets a blood. I'm just going to borrow this guy's blood. Yeah, why not? <laughs> hey, can I borrow your blood? <laughs> 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 Alright, fake again. Oh, geez. This is not what I need. <laughs> or do I? Oh, maybe do maybe yeah, I maybe, don't need any more kills. Maybe you're trying to get out of it. Yeah. Um, I have another token here. Um, I'm going to use it on this boy. Try to kill that horse. So, he has 5-8. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, he's my hero. Literally. Uh, Apologies, also, uh, we had a little bit of an great. audio glitch near the end yep. of this video, but uh, Tyler and oh, I yeah, just met up to do a not quick happen, audio recording happen. to finish uh, so this yeah. game. So we're right at the end of turn 5. Um, and in this, uh, we're just having a look at a few of the last rounds of combat. So it's at this point that we lose audio and uh, end also our second camera. So it's gonna make it a little bit difficult to see the dice results as they are, but uh, judged on the actual video and what happens where and then, we've, we've put everything on screen to sort of explain what's happened. So in this round of combat, uh, we've just had the test of strength uh, and it failed to kill my guy. And now I'm just putting the little token down to denote that he did the agility rolls and all that. And now it's my draw. Um, so for my draw, I am going to activate my banner guy and he's going to attack Tyler's uh, spear grip that has two guys left. Unfortunately, I don't make my test of aim and now it's on to Tyler's turn. Um, and let's see what Tyler does next. So it looks like Tyler's drawn the hero token. Get a nice big hero token, which is kind of good because it means I can uh, try and get rid of some more of your units of uh, one of my guys that was stuck in combat, I think, for quite a while, um, if I remember correctly. I passed that. I failed that. I succeeded that. Look at that. And I get him in the end, which is like, that gives me another point uh, for the end of this. So, you know, track him well. I mean, after what I feel was a pretty horrendous start, um, I feel like I was starting to get back at this point. Yeah, th this was a really tough game. And um, it, it, it felt at different points that, it, like, in the very beginning, it, it really swayed to me with just uh, those early attacks on that first hero that you had. But mm. I, I felt by about turn two or so that this was really swinging back into your favor. Yeah. Um, at this at this point, we're just doing some test of honor checks for the stuff that was uh, near some casualties. And it yeah. looks like we forgot about a, a casualty earlier on. So we're just making up for that test of honor now. Yeah. No. So the muskets failed, but the spearmen uh, succeeded. Mm. I, I also saw there that the uh, muskets, you, you move them too far back, and I think I actually took out my yeah. tape measure and was like, yeah, no, you can, you can bring them forward if you want. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> um, we're, we're at the end of uh, turn five, so I drew the last fate token, so when you draw the third mm. one, um, we uh, move on to the end of turn. So um, what's interesting here, and uh, we're, we're, just, we're just live watching this video together. I'm just gonna pause it just for a moment. But um, 
at this point in the game, uh, we had come to the decision that this was an equal draw. Um, so Tyler ended up killing five of my units. I killed three. Um, and for some reason, I thought that we had five prayers that were completed, which would have added up to two victory points, which would have made it a draw. It was actually added. So, so when, when we ended, I'm, I'm, I'm certain yeah. that you and I, we both thought, thought it was, was a draw because you got, you got two victory points from the prayer. Uh, this is all yeah. live, so I I, I haven't yeah. seen this recording. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, like in the editing and with all these on-screen stuff that I've, oh. that I've added in, um, I found out that I did six prayers in total and not five. Oh, and damn. that six gives me the one VP over. Um, and, and I was actually really happy with the original result because I'm damn. like, this was a tough game, mm. um, and uh, to be honest, I didn't think it would have been fair for me to win because I actually lost so many guys. Um, but uh, actually, it, it turned out I prayed just enough yeah. um, to Go. get to get the win for the game. Um, so that was Attack the Shrine. Uh, we we kind of did a, a, a demo of. Uh, how this game looks, we, we got everything as, as close to as our interpretation of the rules are. Um, there are a few inconsistencies I noticed post-recording, um, and I kind of put on some on-screen little messages to say, oh, we, we skipped this or, or we forgot this. Um, the, the main things were that we just tended to forget tests of honor when we had um, follow-up attacks because we just were bloodthirsty and wanted to get to the next round of combat. And oh, combat's kind of so much fun. It's so cinematic. Oh, I just, um, oh. <laughs> so we ended up we ended up missing that four times. Um, Jeez. And yeah, but, but to be honest, it didn't really um, hurt the results of the game. Um, so that was, that was our kind of first look at Tests of Honor. Uh, we really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, we will see you in March at the Siege of Osaka at Good Games Rockingham. Um, hope to see you there. And uh, if you like this content, please let us know in the comments that if you want to see more of this stuff, if you kind of like the the overview of the game or, you know, just, just a, a battle report itself. Um, and we'd really like to hear your comments on what other games that we should cover. Uh, I've got a few in my mind. I mean, it would be nice to do a few more Tests of Honor videos. Um, we have a long-awaited recording of a huge Bolt Action uh, Christmas special that we recorded with the HMG podcast. So that's myself, Tyler, Gorchin, and Dan. Uh, and that's in a 2v2 for Bolt Action. It's about two hours long. It's a really exciting game. It's so, really um, fun. I'm about halfway through that edit. It, it will be out as soon as I can I can make it. But um, yeah, I just want to, you know, reiterate that we would like to cover stuff that you would like to see. Um, so yeah, if you have any ideas, please let us know. Um, some of my ones in, in my head are uh, is uh, Rangers of Shadow Jeet or Frostgrave or both. Um, th those those are two things that are kind of fresh in my hobby. I'm sure um, we'll get to them. Yeah, and then the other one that we really need to showcase um, is uh, Dan from HMG. He has his own little. Um, alpha beta rule set for for modern warfare which is tactical reloads oh, so that's we good definitely need good to fun. def definitely need to showcase to the world what that is because um it's it's a it's only a a, a document that's that's kept within the hmg podcast at this moment um and yeah i'm just thinking if there's anything else that we really want to cover in the near future i mean there's there, uh, lorraine but we'll get to that yeah 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 definitely um are, are there any are there any battle reports or or anything that you're you're thinking that you'd like to i to mean cover yourself at some name point? them like uh frost grave shadow deep and um yeah especially tactical reload we want to look at those but um yeah like had so much fun with this and can't wait to do another one really thanks for checking in um like and subscribe to western tabletop Follow us on Facebook. You can find us at Western Tabletop or the HMG podcast. Um, please um, get involved. And leave a comment of what you want to see next. Thank you very much.